just get my game open and then we can play some Stardew Valley. Okay, hold on. Stardew Valley play. Yay. Hi everyone. Welcome back. Good morning. I um just remembered that I was going to install a couple extra mods and then I forgot. <laughs> Oops. Oh well, that's fine. It was just stuff like the um the outfits and stuff, but that's not a big deal. We aren't even in a different season yet, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, hi, hi, hello. Um, I think that, um, let me just triple check one second. I wanna make sure I have this open. Okay, there we go. Let me, oh, did that just like glitch on my camera? Stardew Valley. Nice. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so many beautiful and and um, Laban and Tipsy and, and uh, I think that's everybody. Thank you all so much. <laughs> okay, who's ready to game? Love Wednesday streams. I think it's fun. I it's very chill hanging out on these Wednesday mornings. You know, it's always a good time. I think. I forgot that we got a trash can hat. <laughs> Ares and Evil and Jess with the 67 months! Oh my goodness, Stephanie, Charlotte, Sunny, thank you all so much, everybody. Oh, it is a good vibe on Wednesday mornings. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> all right, let's get this open. Are my headphones pink or beige? Um, my headphones are white, <laughs> but understandably confusing. These are the Logitech Aurora headphones. So, <laughs> when's the next 64 by 64 build? Um, no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I actually think I'll pass. <laughs> they look beige on camera, do they? Maybe it's just the lighting in here that kind of has those vibes. Isn't it way too early? You know, I usually stream in the morning on Wednesdays. Um, so in fact, I am typically here on these days. Oh, I learned how to cook coleslaw. <laughs> wow, <laughs> isn't that so exciting? <laughs> hey, Lady and Questionable and Mr. and Courtney and Escape and Andrew, Little Deke, Stan Account, Eggy, Izzy and Big Mac and Sunny and Tracy. Thank you all so much for the subs and stuff. Um, Wednesday's your short day at work. Oh, nice. That's good vibes. Um, also, Laura and Mystic and Olive, thank you all so much. Did I miss anything? I hope not. I'm gonna water my little plants, and then we can we can chat, okay? <laughs> so recently, I started making um, a well, making is a weird way of describing it. But recently, I made a new Stardew save file like a couple weeks ago before the Sims pack came out, because I wanted to mess around with the Stardew Valley expanded mod. Because up until last week, I had literally never used a mod for Stardew Valley in my life, and I'm a really big fan of Stardew Valley. I've just only ever played vanilla before. Um, and there's this Stardew Expanded mod that like adds a lot of things. <laughs> um, like it, it makes the place a lot bigger. There's like new characters. Um, it's actually quite cool. So I kind of wanted to mess around with it and try and play with it a tiny bit. So that's what we started doing. Um, and this is the second stream of it. So <laughs> I was rewatching yesterday's stream and you scared me. This happens every time I go live in the morning because um, I don't usually stream at this time. I just only do it on Wednesdays. So whenever I go live in the morning, people are like, I was watching your stream from yesterday and then all of a sudden you were live and it terrified me. Because <laughs> I think it like forces, um, if you have a VOD open, it like puts the live over the VOD. Um, so it like switches for you and it scares people. <laughs> Uh, Jojo, we, we played like two weeks in game or so we're like mid spring of year one um, today. So we, we played like a little bit. <laughs> also, Astro and Anna and, and Nick, Eggie, Kate, Sea Green, Honey, and Jester and Em and Sleepy. Thank you all for the subs. Um, yours is much for you. Oh, really? I wonder what it is that causes it then. That's really interesting. I don't know. You know, Jess, I really don't like coleslaw. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything, but I really don't like coleslaw. Do I have a crush already in town? Do you know what? Um, I personally was really interested in Sophia because she has pink hair um, and seems anxious. 
And from what I've been told by chat, it seems like everyone is obsessed with Sophia. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm not a coleslaw person, so, sorry, everyone, so sorry, um, I don't need any of these things, I'm not gonna buy them, there's no point, there's no point, I used to hate it, but now it's okay, so you all might change, maybe, maybe, we'll see. <laughs> This mod is one that will make it hard to go back to vanilla. Yeah, I've I've um seen that. <laughs> There's so much going on in this mod, you know. It's kind of cool though. I should get the tractor mod. Do you know what? I that's one that I don't really want to be honest. Um, I I don't think that I'm that interested in the tractor mod because I I like enjoy the farming aspect of the game. I don't really care to have it be made easier. Um. That I don't think is one for me, to be honest. Um, I think that's fun. This, this like, adds more to do, but it doesn't, like, you know, affect the challenge. Red mushroom. You're not getting any of that. Haley's birthday. Okay. I'll try and give her this daffodil. <laughs> okay. I think that I will buy... I think that I will buy a handful of extra potato seeds. Let me triple check also. I need the cauliflower and the bean. Save the cauliflower, We're still working on the bean. So, it's more areas and NPCs, it's not more crops, Hope. Um, it's just more areas and NPCs in this mod. I'm sure there are lots of mods that add more crops though. I just haven't explored those. I don't really care to do that either, to be honest. Um, you might build in The Sims while watching this. Oh, you should. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I like that idea. Okay, oh, why did I come down here? Wrong room. Silly me. Oh, Jess, I hope you feel better. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Okay, new shell challenge soon. Oh, we talked about doing that before the pack came out, didn't we? But we decided, well, I decided that I was too overwhelmed and busy. <laughs> um, maybe we could do one like, maybe we could do one next week. Do you wanna do a shell challenge? Hold on. Let me look at my schedule. Um, maybe like next Tuesday or something. That could be an idea. You know, maybe not a 64 by 64 lot. Um, I don't think that's for me, actually. <laughs> you know, perhaps we could not do that. Also, someone said community lot shell challenge. I don't think that I would ever do a shell challenge that was like a specific like forced kind of lot. We did that one where we were like, hey, I'm gonna build a spa. <laughs> uh, but I don't ever wanna be like, you should do this. Cause I feel like that kind of, um, it, it limits people's creativity. There's Haley's birthday gift, by the way. Um, and I don't really care to do that. I feel like it's more fun if people can um, do whatever, you know? How did you set the stream schedule? Oh, I was, what I just edited was my own personal schedule. <laughs> like my upload schedule that I use. Um, but I always post my stream schedule on the Discord as well. But that's usually like per week. That's not, so I don't have like next week posted in the Discord, but um, I do post a stream schedule in the Discord, but I was looking at my own <laughs> just then. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what my plans were. <laughs> Um, hey, funny and Sophie and Estella and and Funkish and Pop. Thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um, hate that, to be honest. Okay, so oh, it's so annoying. Shape the shell like pulp. Oh my god, like the dog. I don't know how we could make a shell that looks like pulp, to be honest. I'm not really sure I know how to do that. Um, okay. I would like to try and make some more copper here. Do I have a pet? Yeah, yeah, we have a cat um, in here, don't we? 
So I was originally planning on, I think today we need to get some chickens. So I think we shall work on that. We don't have enough money, obviously, but we can try. Baby shaped shell, oh my God. Well, we can do like a baby themed shell. Um, one of those where it's like, oh, I'm gonna build like a daycare or like a baby house or something. <laughs> but obviously you can do whatever you want, but like that's, that's what I'm gonna do or whatever. Sort of like there's a theme, but the vibes are still open to anything. Momo Misfortune with a 23 month resub. Oh my God. <laughs> that is a long time. Chat, if you don't follow my friend Momo, by the way, you're really missing out. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, okay. A little bit more of this cleared up. That's probably for the best. We would do well to have more of this, this area cleaned up just in general. <laughs> okay, very nice. Very nice. Momo streams are always fun. I can confirm. I'm a Momo Misfortune stan, so. Okay, um, anybody else? overwhelmed to start to get an update. No, this is a mod, Big Nobody. This is a mod that I'm playing right now. It's called the Stardew Valley Expanded mod. It adds loads of things. As you can see, I'm playing on a different map as well. Um, but it also adds a lot of stuff like to the environment. There's like extra NPCs and all kinds of additional stuff going on. So it's pretty cool. It's only my second time playing it. So I don't have a ton of experience. Um, but we've been messing around with it a little bit, so. Anyway, all that to say, if you have questions, I'm probably not the right person to ask. <laughs> Given this is only my second time playing with this mod. <laughs> I've played like three hours, four hours probably with the mod, so. Um, I don't know everything yet. Very new. Very, very new. Okay, I think I'm just gonna spend all day trying to clear up some of this, to be honest. And then maybe tomorrow we can go to the mines or something. Um, okay. Animals will stay in the fenced areas. Are you saying like these open fenced areas or are you saying if I put a fence, they'll stay? Um, Cause I was sort of intending to put the animals in these like sort of fenced in spots, but I did give Haley a birthday gift. Yeah, don't worry. Stardew seems boring to you personally. Oh no. <laughs> Stardew Valley is one of my favorite games of all time. I really enjoy um, the vibes of this game, but I can see how maybe it might not appeal to everyone if you're not into like farming type stuff, I guess. I don't really know. Um, but I like it, so. <laughs> Why does that look like a saucepan lid? It's actually, um, it's actually a trash can hat. So it's, it's not a saucepan lid. In fact, it's a trash can hat. <laughs> yeah, I found it on like day three in game I see or something. I, I found it so early on. It was so good. Um, oh, the spirits are not happy today. That's fine. I don't really care, to be honest. I'm going to the mines. Um, I'll probably bring... You know what? Let's go with, with, uh, I'll probably bring a couple parsnips. I don't know. Stardew Valley is currently on sale on Steam for 1049 right now. Is it? Oh, that's actually so good. That's good to know. Um, hey, part time and image and Josie, Momo, Melly, Ali, Sophie, Estella, Nay, thank you all for the subs. Okay. I got to get up here. Hold on. Sometimes I get a little bit lost on this farm. Leave tools. I could leave some of them, but I've got inventory space, so I don't care. I forgot to take my sword. Oh my god, I didn't take my sword. I usually keep it on me when I have a full inventory, but I um, don't have my fully expanded inventory yet. And now here we are. Unless I left my sword at the mines. I might have left my sword at the mines on purpose. I didn't. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, we're wasting time. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Flower, thank you for the sub. Um, 
Yeah, I have a chest up there, so I, I usually like drop things in the chest anyway. Um, that I when I want to have more space in my inventory. So okay. Um yeah, I guess Eliza, some people don't like the art style of this game. To be honest, I don't really understand that. But I can see how some people, like, don't appreciate the art of it, you know? I love the vibes of this game, though, <laughs> so... <laughs> you think your bank called and you hung up thought it was a scam? Oh no, well, if you if you actually think it was your bank, you could probably call them back, yeah? Um... Oh... Berries. That's good. Now we got food. Um... Yeah, I agree, Hope. This is sort of, like, timeless to me. Sometimes these games that have that, like, uncanny valley type of graphics, like you said, they really don't age that well. <laughs> um, so I, I'm with you on that. Sometimes the, like, m games that are meant to look super realistic, they, like, age really poorly and it gets kind of... Would you say Stardew Valley is more challenging than Animal Crossing? Oh my god. Yeah. Can I help you with something? Well, you tell me. I guess I'll just bring all this. Um, is music disabled? No, sometimes it just turns itself off. <laughs> sometimes it just doesn't play any. It'll start again. You'll see. <laughs> um, but anyway, sometimes, like, these, like, super realistic graphics age really poorly when, like, we get better at making realistic graphics, you know? Um, yeah, pixel art, I guess, can be kind of hit or miss, but I think the Sturdy Valley looks really beautiful, so. Don't touch me, ugly slime. Okay. Do I think the expanded mod is worth it? I mean, I've had fun playing with it, yeah, but... I, I don't think that you need to play with Expanded to enjoy this game. Um, I, I just think it's interesting to play with after I've got like hundreds and hundreds of hours in the regular game. Um, it's definitely fun to play with. I'm gonna grab a couple of these things first. Don't hit me! Oh my god, I usually have this. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's probably not worth it if you haven't played the normal way yet. Like I would, if I were you, I would probably play the normal way first. Um. And then, like, you know, if you've somehow gotten bored playing that way, which I've not done. <laughs> I'm still not bored playing normal Stardew. I was just curious what this mod was like, you know? Um, but... Really, Eggie? That's interesting. I've heard a lot of people say a lot of good things about that one. Um, okay. Can you use mods on Android or just for PC? Um, I don't really know. I'm I'm probably not the right person to ask for specifics because I didn't mod Stardew at Valley literally ever up until two weeks ago, so. Um, it doesn't change the minds, no. The expanded mod doesn't change the minds. <laughs> okay. Love the combination of Stardew Expanded and the Ridgeside Village, but 67 NPC. Is that really what happens? Oh my god, does Ridgeside add that much? That's amazing. It doesn't change the community center bundles, no, but I'm, uh, there's a setting in game where you can, like, uh, switch around the community center bundles, so I'm using that setting. There's also a, a mine rewards setting that you can switch around. Um, I don't have that one on, but I have the community center one on. So, oh my god, this is unlucky. Horrible. Yeah, there's a lot of really interesting Stardew mods um, that people use. There's a really active modding community for this game, which is pretty cool. You love my garbage can hat? Thank you, me too. I think I look beautiful. <laughs> it was a scam call. Okay, good, Fossil. I'm glad that you didn't um, talk to them then. That's a relief. Yeah, do you know what? There's a seasonal, um, like, outfits mod or whatever that people say a lot of good things about. I meant to download that one last week after I stopped playing, but then I forgot, so I don't have it still. <laughs> I'll get it today. I have a little bit of time after I get offline today, so I'll be able to do that. Um, go away. Go away. I'm not being that fast in the mines this time. I'll have you know that I actually have mine speedrunning experience because I was in a Stardew Valley tournament 
So yeah, I saw that hope. There's a bunch of links in the in the channel. Um, as many of you can probably imagine, though, um, I was very busy and overwhelmed last week. <laughs> Um, or the week before last week, because I got early access to the pack on Thursday, and I streamed this on Wednesday. Um, and so on Wednesday, I was trying to finish videos for the whole weekend um, before I got early access to the pack so that I could focus on the pack over the weekend. So I was uh, not really thinking about other games <laughs> last week. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me eat some snacks. Um, okay. Okay. I was really intrigued by Coral, Coral Island Peachy, but um, I've just had so much, so many games that I want to play on stream, and I feel like not enough time to play them. Do you know what I mean? Um, that's the only reason I haven't played Coral Island again. Um, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Go away. I don't like this part of the mines. It's unpleasant when you don't have a glow ring. Because sometimes you can't see when your um, ladder's there. Okay. Put down torches. No, we'll be okay without them, don't worry. Just gotta look closely and um, step down. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Thought I'd go live at 3 o'clock? Ah, I usually stream at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Yeah, but on Wednesdays, I stream in the morning. Believe it or not. Um, so here we are. <laughs> That's what we stream on most days, though. But not on Wednesdays. This is normal time for me on a Wednesday. Oh, this is a disaster. Uh-oh. Who we're marrying in this save? I'm not sure yet, Velvet. Um, I haven't really focused on it too, too much, to be honest. Because there's a bunch of new NPCs in this mod, and I'm still not, like, 100% certain who I want to marry. Um, I'm a little bit intrigued by... Um, there's a new one called Sophie, who I think is kind of cool. Um, but I'm not sure. So we'll see. Oh my god, this is so unlucky. I'm gonna hit every single rock. It's probably there and I just can't see it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't, I feel like, cause I was trying to walk forward when I, oh no. So it's definitely spawned. <laughs> I've never had this problem before in these levels in the mines. Normally, like, I can, okay. Um, this is a problem. Just walk holding right click maybe? Yeah, I, oh, there we go. It did spawn right in a little corner. <laughs> That was rough. I don't know if we're gonna get down to 35 today, to be honest, so that's no good. We shall try. It's possible that it didn't even spawn and it just was there. And so I didn't know, because I couldn't see it. But, I don't know, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, normally I don't have to bring torches or anything to these levels, usually I'm okay. But, that one was rough. That one was rough. Go away! Get away, thank you. Oh, we'll be fine. We are fine. Why don't you make the lamp of belts carry a light? It will help you. Um, I don't really know what you're talking about, friend. Uh, just so you know, we're only on like day 15 in game as well, so we don't have the, a lot of abilities or a lot of things. Like we don't have a glow ring yet or anything like that. So eventually we'll get that stuff, but we're not quite there yet. Um, that is my cat, yes. <laughs> if you see some ears, that would be her. Thank you, Snap. You are a star. Okay. 
Um, uh, tiny! <laughs> um, I was sort of hoping to maybe do that during our big charity event in May, okay? I'm still not 100% sure if I want to focus on that though, so we'll see. Um, oh, there it is. 35. Okay, we can leave now. Um, we can head out. I don't think we'll get to 40 before it gets too late, so I'm a little bit nervous and I want to go back. That will be good. Slowly but surely. Okay. Uh, maybe we can run around and try and get some berries or something. I don't know. Which I don't know. Hey, Steph, Claudie, Courtney, thank you for the subs, everybody. But yeah, I was sort of hoping, because I'm going to do, every year I do a huge charity event for the entire month of May. Um, and I was thinking that maybe we could focus on that baby challenge as like a silly little game <laughs> for it. Um, that was kind of the idea, I guess. But anyway. Oh my goodness. You headbutted me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's interesting, Jess. That's kind of funny. Um, okay. Let's see. Will Rick make a comeback? The cardboard cutout? Absolutely. The man? No. <laughs> um, I don't know that guy well enough to, for him to just come onto my stream on a regular day. Um, okay. But yes, my cardboard cutout will be here for sure. For sure. Okay, I just want to grab a couple more of my little berries. Thank you. Thank you. Um, very nice. Would I ever do a subathon? Um, so I've done a subathon before in the past, like literally years ago, maybe in like 2018 or something. We were live for like 16 hours, but these days, um, I think people's perception of, of subathons is different. Um, where, like, the streamer is live for days upon days straight, and they, like, stay live overnight and stuff. And I'm gonna be honest, that's not for me. <laughs> um, I don't know how people do that, and that is not something that I'm interested in, <laughs> even remotely. <laughs> so... Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know how people do that. I like, I do YouTube full time, you know, like I, I don't know how I would have time to do something like that. Like, um, oh, I didn't know I had a cauliflower in there for the community center. You could do a cap subathon. Yeah, but I don't really, that, I don't know. Um, I don't really think that that's something that I'm interested in right now. <laughs> But, like, I'm, I make a YouTube video every day, you know? Um, what would I do, like, pre-record to be live for two weeks straight or something? It's just, like, um, I, I don't think that that's something that I would be interested in doing. Especially because I feel really, like, um, I don't know, weird about, like, everyone pay me so that I can be live for weeks on it. Like, I don't really, that's not something that I'm interested in doing. That's not, like, a insult to anyone who does do it. It's just not something that I think is... Um, for me, you know, filming a video on stream. I mean, I think that's what like people like Ludwig did, right? He made his YouTube content while he was live, but that's just, um, I don't know. Guys, it's just not for me. <laughs> it's just not for me. Some people are cut out for that. I'm not mentally capable of being live for that long. I don't know how people do that. It's extremely, um, draining to be in front of people, uh, in such a constant way. Um, so it's not for me. The times that I've done super long streams in the past were really, really bad for me physically and mentally. So, <laughs> um, I don't know. Bad Wolf, I, I would absolutely never under any circumstance raise money through subs. If that's what you're implying, like do a subathon. Um, I, I like, there, there's the idea of like a charity a thon, I guess, but um, I know that some streamers in the past have done that sort of thing where they like raise money through um, subscriptions and stuff, uh, but that's just not something that I would ever do. 
Um, cause like Twitch takes the cut and then like, it's just, um, it's, it's, I think, a very ineffective way to do it, and I think it's also a little bit untrustworthy, because, like, obviously, I, if I did that, I would donate the money, but, like, how do you know, and, like, I just, that's not, when we do, um, when we do stuff like that, we would do it through Tiltify, where it's, like, trackable, and, you know, you can, um, it's tax deductible, it's a real donation, you know, like, that, um, sort of thing is a little bit more clear-cut, <laughs> you know, like, it's better for you to, be able to give the money directly in those cases, I think. So, um, again, that's not meant to like shade anyone who's done sub-based um, charity things before. They usually try to encourage prime subs and stuff, but um, I just don't think that's a, a good idea for me, so. Um, okay, um, let's go in here. Mm -hmm. And then I can donate my last little bean. Yay! Um, speed grow. And the next thing? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to think, Heather, that I um, have got a handle on the best ways to fundraise on Twitch. I think that um, I'm uh, a little experienced in the field. <laughs> I've, uh, I've done a little bit, you know? <laughs> hey, Molly, and X, and CL, and Team Villain Loft. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, okay. Blacksmith bundle, engineers bundle, geologist bundle. Okay, I can get two of those already. Um, Mons, I've done a lot of 12 hour streams in my life. <laughs> I've done a lot of 12 hour streams in my life. Um, so, okay. I know, watch <laughs> my cat's tail is just in my face. I'm like not even acknowledging her out loud right now. She's just there. <laughs> Ooh, cutscene. Bell, thanks for the 20 months also. Did I say that already? I don't know. What do I don't know? A little while you've raised like $1 million for charity. Yeah, just I've dabbled in it. You know, I've dabbled in fundraising. <laughs> Hello, Morris. <laughs> Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. Go away, stupid Morris. No, Jay, I'm not. Um, that was only for two years. My contract ended in like October um, and they didn't renew it. <laughs> I think Twitch is like really moving away from those things. Um, I think Twitch is really losing money. So, anyway, I don't want to talk to you, Morris. To be honest, I can't. Ah, I wanted to sell my stuff. Let me back in. Let me back in. Um, go away, go away, go away. Cool. Oops. Yeah, they did, Jess, a couple days ago. It's a real nightmare. Um, okay, which way of playing starting did you like more, the nice or evil? Oops. Uh, we did a whole, like, many months of what I called evil Stardew Valley, and I, like, um, I uh, did the Jojo Mart route. There's a cutscene that you get when you date everybody at once, where they, like, all find out, basically, and, um, <laughs> accuse you of it um, and so uh, we played that we did that we were basically trying to do everything wrong in the game <laughs> all the things that you could do to cause harm in the village we did um, and I found that to be honestly really fun so yay <laughs> Lala thank you for the prime sub okay let's see what we can do Put that away. Um, oh, do you know what I could do actually? Maybe I'll go donate and open these things. Let's see, look at my cat. <laughs> the cat in game, but also this cat. <laughs> okay, um, is there anything else that I need to... Yeah, Earth Crystal, okay. That should be fine. Let me put these seeds in there. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, me and Dan used to stream starting together a bunch. That was kind of fun. Which farm type is this? It's the modded, like, updated grandpa's farm. Um, as part of the Stardew Valley Expanded mod. So. Um. Oh, really, Nick? That's so cute. <laughs> Snap is really funny on stream. She wants attention so bad, and I feel bad because she wants me to pet her, but, like, I've got my hand on the keyboard and on the mouse, so I can't really. So she, I'm just, like, putting my face up against her. <laughs> But anyway, back to the JoJo uh, route thing. To be honest, I I think I found the JoJo route. It was interesting because it was new to me. But I think that I really enjoy the like, um, I don't know, like the collector almost aspect of the community center. Like I think that like playing through the community center is more fun to me than, yes. Um, I think that playing through the community center is more fun to me than playing through the JoJo route. Like, I, I find the community center to be an enjoyable process. Like, I, I really enjoy the collecting and trying to finish all the bundles and stuff. Like, I think that's really fun, so. Um, anyway, Clemsy, thank you for the 10 months. I heard that um, this mod has like sort of a different version of um, JoJo, which is kind of interesting because I've never um, seen it. So maybe I'll play through Story Valley Expanded twice so that we can see the JoJo storyline too. Um, okay. Let me donate all these things quickly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. No, I want my reward. Starfruit seeds. Cool. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I did, um, remix bundles with, uh, in the settings in-game this time around. Um, oh, that's so fun, Miracle. You're gonna have such a good time, uh, seeing all that with your friend. Okay, I think that my goal for today, honestly, I think is gonna be to work a little bit more on, um, not today in-game, but, like, just today in general. I think to work a little bit more on the mines. Um, cause I would like to get to a point where I'm able to make a bunch of better sprinklers. Um, when I'm able. So. That's a good idea. The yarn for the mines. <laughs> oh god. Um, yeah, Jackson, it will. It's supposed to. They said it would work on, um, all of the old packs. And, like, obviously they're doing it as a test cause the new pack is coming out, but... Um, it should work on anything on the EA app. Any Sims thing on the EA app, so. Okay. Let me put you away, too. I have furniture now. That's exciting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so exciting. Wow. Really great, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Um... Should I go to the mines again? This is why I'm like, didn't I have bad luck today? Oh, the spirits are very displeased today. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just chop some trees or something. Are we gonna romance anybody? Yeah, we're gonna romance one of the new NPCs from the mod, but I haven't decided who yet. I feel like I'm still kind of like wandering around trying to see what the vibes are. I'm not really in any rush. Like, I'm not trying to speed run this or anything. Like, I feel like normally when I play this game, I'm like, okay, get married. <laughs> get to the bottom of the mines as soon as possible. But I don't really care to, um, I don't know. I kind of just want to vibe, you know? At least this time. Um, okay. Okay. Let me chop through all this, and then we can go to the mines tomorrow, maybe? Okay. Yeah, I've heard that, Hugh, so we'll have to see about that. Madison, local, clumsy, thank you for the subs, everybody. Oh my god, look at her. She's being so silly. Okay. Oh my gosh, earlier this morning, um, I was, uh, I had pulled up the security camera downstairs, because I was, um, 
trying to, I, I, Dan said that Snap was sitting there. He sent me a picture of Snap sitting like on the chair and he was sitting on the couch. And so I pulled up the camera to look at her. And in the camera, I won't show you because I feel like I shouldn't show you the interior of my home, but she was just sat there like staring straight on. She looked so funny. <laughs> like, oh. Also looks funny. Um, but she was staring straight on in the camera. It was so silly looking. <laughs> Um, cats are so funny. It's like, I wonder what she's thinking <laughs> with the way she's just staring. Um, yeah, that's the thing, Julia. I, I'm with you. It's kind of hard to not do things super fast when you, like, have played through the whole game and you know everything. Like, I know what all of the villagers like and dislike. I know what their best gifts are, obviously. I know what their schedules are. So I, like, have memorized, like, oh, Shane's gonna be here on this time, you know, like, um... So it's hard to not like progress quickly because you sort of like, I don't know, you start playing kind of strategically like that. Um, and I feel like it's, I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of fun to play a little bit more casually, especially since I haven't, um, especially since I haven't played through this expanded mod. I don't know the new characters, you know, so it's kind of fun like that. Yeah, I think that she doesn't like the, um, I have, like, two key lights. They're Elgato key lights. They're, like, you know, studio lighting on my face so that we have better lighting for the stream. And I think that she doesn't like the can the lights being stared at her, which is why she's doing that. <laughs> um, which is totally understandable, honestly. We all relate. It's no fun to have big lights in your face. I'm just used to it. <laughs> um, Okay. What do I want to do today? <laughs> oh, I guess we could fish a little bit or something. Oh my god. This is gonna take me a long time. Hmm. Hmm. I could probably bring, like, a couple of these things to the community center just because I was gonna go to bed right now anyway. Um, bring that. Let's see what else we can find. I don't have any fish. Let's just try this. Sometimes you just want to vibe, but you're like, get money, build coop, buy seeds, go, go, go. Yeah, I need to build the coop tomorrow. We shall do it. Um, okay, maybe I'll put some of these in there as soon as this is done. Emily, I'm usually live for about three hours on every day. Even today, I don't know. We'll see though. <laughs> um, your work is going to Disney this summer and you're debating on going because you don't know what to do there as an adult with no kids. Any suggestions? Do you know what? I think that some a lot of people think of Disney as like a kid's place, but honest, I don't really even think that it, I mean, obviously it has a lot of like kid of like activities, but there's like a lot of adult rides and stuff that you can do. Obviously Epcot, ha people have this whole, like, I don't know if you drink, but there's like a whole drinking around the world thing people do at Epcot. There's a lot of foods that people like to try. Um, I don't know. I think that Disney is fun for everybody, to be honest. Um, so I don't know what parks you would be going to or anything with your work, but like, there's a lot of fun stuff to do at Disney. If you like rides, if you like stuff like that, um, I feel like it caters to everybody really well, so. You don't have to go on like, you know, the Dumbo ride <laughs> if you don't want to, but um, there's a lot of stuff for everybody at Disney. So I think that you would enjoy it. Oh my God, this is taking ages. Forget it. I'm just going to bed. Um, Universal's better than Disney for adults. Um, yeah, Universal is probably more adult focused, but um, I, I find, to be honest with you, and I like rides, like I enjoy roller coasters and stuff. I find like the vibes of Disney more pleasant than the vibes of Universal. Um, uh, speaking as a person who lives in Orlando and is like, <laughs> fence of these places a fair amount, um, I think I find, um, Disney a little bit more, I don't know, I guess enjoyable. Um, but you went to other adults and you had so much fun, you spent 14 hours there. Yeah, this is the thing, honestly, it really is, like... It's just kind of a fun place to be. Vibes are kind of cool. Especially if like you've, if you've never been before, it's kind of cool to experience, I think, you know? Um, okay. Here we go. Let's water all these, shall we? 
You know what, actually? Let me get making some more copper bars <laughs> while I water these. Um, nostalgia when it comes to Disney? I guess that's true. I don't know, and there's a lot of stuff that, like, you might not enjoy. Like, I'm not the kind of person to want to go to, like, a character meet and greet. I'm gonna be honest, I find it a little bit, like, um, extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> like, that's not for me. Like, I'm not trying to meet Rapunzel or whatever. Um, but, like, maybe you would like that. A little kid might like that. But I think that the rides are fun, and I like to just, like, kind of walk around and see stuff, you know? People watching is fun. Um, but I think that you'd enjoy it. If you have the chance to go, I think that it's probably worth, like, just seeing, you know? See what the vibes are. Um, a little bit extremely uncomfortable. Uh-huh. <laughs> I went to Disney with my family on my for my birthday last year, and I've never been to a character meet and greet as an adult, and I saw that the line to meet Olaf was like zero minutes. So I was like, haha, what if I dragged my, my dad in there to meet Olaf? And then um, I went in there and I immediately regretted it because I realized that like people like hug the characters and stuff, and then I got hugged by Olaf and it made me really uncomfortable. Um, so I decided that that was a big mistake. <laughs> and I would never want to do it again. But some people might like it. It's just, it wasn't for me. I felt, um, afraid. <laughs> I think I'm afraid of Olaf now, I don't know. Um, but, oh yeah, that's kind of cute, Hope. I, ever since COVID, they started doing, maybe they did this before, I don't remember. But, um, they do more of it since COVID. Like, like sort of like distance, like, character viewing. So like, in Epcot, Winnie the Pooh just like hangs out in a field, like swinging around a net, like he's trying to catch butterflies. That's kind of cute. <laughs> That's not horrible, I guess. Um, okay. But yeah, I don't know. I found that kind of scary, to be honest with you. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh no, I don't have enough clay. Why did I think I had enough clay? I'm going to the beach. We're trying to get clay. I would love to be Winnie the Pooh frolicking on a field in Disney World. Yeah, that would be the dream, honestly. Any Sims today? Fred, we're playing Stardew right now, okay? Um, we play Sims pretty much every day. I've played Sims on stream every day for like two weeks straight, so. <laughs> um, okay. Do you think a person should have all Sims packs to stream? No, Susie, not at all. Um, I don't think that that is a huge deal, to be honest. In fact, a lot of people, I think, really enjoy watching content with, like, less packs, because I think most people don't have all the packs, you know? Um, people ask me, like, I do a lot of builds where I disable packs on purpose so that, um, other people can- Oh, do you know what we could do? I'm gonna regret this. <gasps> I'm gonna do it. But yeah, I don't think that you need to have all the packs to, um, to stream. Absolutely not. Well, there we go. That solves that problem. I've got all the clay. Now I don't have enough wood. <laughs> hey, Stell, Daisy, thank you for the subs. Okay. You like just walking through the park at Disney? Oh, there was a, um, thing. Best theme park part, the food, something else, the rides, the shows, the parades, the characters. Yeah, I think that the rides are probably the best part for most people, but... Um, Disney has some really fun rides. There's a couple, um, they're opening a new roller coaster that I haven't been on, obviously, because it's not open yet, um, in Magic Kingdom. But there's a new one in Epcot, uh, that's actually really cool. Um, it's, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy themed, which, full transparency, never seen. Don't care about at all. But, like, the pre-show to it was so interesting i like i thought it was a obviously it's new so like the tech of it's pretty cool but like the whole thing i thought was really impressive um guardians is a really cool ride if you get a chance to go to epcot um you should really try and get on it it's really really cool um it's replacing tower of terror isn't it no they replaced tower of terror with it's the same like ride but it's re-themed to guardians in disneyland but in disney world the guardians ride is a roller coaster um, and it's actually really fun. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I don't think that they'll replace Tower of Terror in Florida. I would be really surprised. Oh, oh. really surprised they did that, to be honest. 
Um, but how old is Snap? She's 14. She turns 15 in June. Um, okay. I need to chop some more wood while I'm over here. Well, I'm going to try and buy... Um, I'm going to try and buy the coop today. Hopefully I have enough stuff. I'm going to be honest, I haven't built a coop in a while, so hopefully I didn't forget what I need. Uh-oh. Love the face and pillow look for Snap. Yeah, it's kind of iconic. Um, it definitely is a <laughs> conversation starter. People come in and they're like, what's wrong with your cat? And I'm like, she just doesn't like the lights, I think. <laughs> oh. She's silly. You miss Tower of Terror, do you? Do you know what? I um here's an interesting question. Do you guys like those sort of like drop rides? That's all it is. It's one of those rides that like brings you up and then drops you down, you know? Um which a lot of people really don't like. <laughs> um I think that Tower of Terror is kind of fun. I kind of like it. But I can see how um I need 4,000. Oh my god. Why did I think I only needed 2,000. Oops. Oops. Okay, well, I didn't bring any stone. That was foolish of me. Never mind, I don't have enough money. <sighs> well. <laughs> don't ride them more than once in a visit? Yeah. You're not gonna tell Madison it's a drop tower? Oh my god. <laughs> She's gonna no, she's gonna see this giant tower and she's gonna like the window opens at the top and there's all these people screaming I can't sell anything today. Oh, this is a disaster. Today is bad Today is very very bad But you could probably get away with not telling her maybe she'll just go Um, it's not like tower of terror is a very obvious name. I'm sure she'll have no idea I'm sure she'll never be able to tell from the name Tower of Terror. <laughs> okay, maybe I can go back and try and build um, a silo. It's just like an elevator that goes up and down and shows you some like scary images, you know? Nothing to worry about, nothing to see here. It's fine. <laughs> I used to be really scared of um, the pre-show in Tower of Terror. It's like Twilight Zone themed and I thought it was so scary. I feel like I'm not that scared of a lot of the rides at Disney though, because I like went on them when I was so little. So I think that helps. You recently got stuck in an elevator <gasps> in real life. Oh no, 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 no. That's terrifying. Oh, don't shop. No, don't upgrade house. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I want a silo. Okay. Um, just put that there for now. That'll do. At your local theme park, there's an animatronics ride and it freaks you out to this day. Yeah. I can see that being scary. Animatronics are interesting, but also kind of, you know, you love most roller coasters. I like roller coasters. I'll, I'll ride pretty, I've never like gotten too scared to ride a roller coaster. Um, so I, I like them. I'll ride them. I think I'll ride pretty much anything. My thing is though, I can't really do stuff that spins because I get a little bit motion sick. Like I'll ride a roller coaster any day. But like, there's this ride, there's like a Ratatouille ride in Epcot, um, and it's like trackless, and you're basically like a tiny little rat, and it, um, it's 3D, and like, you're rat size, and like, zooming around the kitchen, like, running underneath, like, all the chefs and stuff, um, and cause it kind of spins around, and with the 3D glasses, it makes me feel a bit sick, so like, that sort of ride, I can't really do, like, those 3D rides, I don't really like them, cause it makes me feel nauseous, but I'll ride like a, you know, any roller coaster, but... Is Astro Orbiter okay for you? That's like the, um, that's one of those rides where it like, you know those things where it like raises you up and just spins in a circle? <laughs> I feel like the circle is wide enough that it doesn't really bother me. So it's more just like stuff that's spinning fast, like a teacup. No way. 
Absolutely not. Not for me. And like the 3D glasses type of rides. Those always make me feel weird. I don't like that stuff. So even if it's not moving around that much, I can't really do those. Um... Okay, I need this muscle. But that's it. The rest of this stuff I can sell. Go away. Thank you. So teacup ride is definitely out. Yeah. <laughs> um, I haven't been on a teacup ride in so long. The last time I went on a teacup ride was with... Um, there was a at an EA Play event a couple of years ago. Um, I wonder if I can... No, I'm just going to go to sleep. They, we all got flown out to California to play Seasons early. So this, you can tell how long ago it was. Um, at this, like, EA Play thing. Um, and they also bought all, not just the Sims, but, like, all the EA creators. They bought us a ticket to go to Disneyland for one day. Um, and it was fun. But we, we, like, picture all the Simmers were at Disneyland. So it was a wild experience. But I went on the teacups, and I was in um, a teacup with Sasha and Zeus. Listen, Zeus is my mortal enemy, okay? After that, never going on teacups again. Worst experience of my life. <laughs> he spun that thing so much, I was miserable. <laughs> it was horrible. Oh, anyway, never again, so. <laughs> I'm not, I would never one for a teacups ride though. That's not for me. It's just not for me. That's actually hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. But it was fun. It was really cool getting to go to Disney with everybody. It was, it's like, I've never been able to do a thing like that. So getting to go to Disney with like, you know, all of your friends. <laughs> there's this one part, I've told this story on stream before, but we went on um, the, there's this ride called the Incredicoaster. It's like an incredible themed roller coaster, as maybe you can deduce from the name Incredicoaster. Um, and we were all in line together. There was like 10 of us, okay? And we're like about to get on the next ride. So we're like stood there, like we've been assigned to our rows and stuff. And as the ride was going off, like as the one before us was like launching and leaving, somebody yells out, I love your videos. We don't know who they are talking to, but like there was like 10 Sims YouTubers all together. That must have been so wild for them. Because I assume if they watch one Sims YouTuber, they probably watch a handful of them, you know? Um, so that must have been so wild for them to, like, be at Disney and see, like, all of the Sims YouTubers together at once. <laughs> that must have been so cool. Because that's, like, a- that is a very rare experience to, to see everybody like that. Ooh, this is a bunch of copper. Um, so that's kind of funny. At the time, my channel was very small, so I don't know if they were talking to me, but, like, James Turner was there, and they are probably talking to him. <laughs> you would cry? Yeah, that would be wild, wouldn't it? Okay, come here, bats. Oh. The thing's open already. I'm gonna get all these, though. Thank you. Go away. Oh, another one. Another one? Okay, well, I want to get all of this stuff quickly. Thank you. Oh, no, that's scary. I don't like that, Enra. That's so horrible. I'm not one for spinning. Not at all. Um, okay. I'll probably just go down. Oh, man, I'm glad you can make it to the stream. That's so fun. Um... How long am I streaming? Well, I'm usually live for a few hours, so we'll be here for a few hours today. That is the plan. My favorite Animal Crossing villager by far is Freckles. Icon. Legend. Oh, creepy. Go away. Your favorite is Bo? Oh, I had Bo on my island for a while. Playing Animal Crossing again soon? Yeah, probably. My schedule's just been weird the past couple weeks because the Sims pack came out, so we've been playing a lot of Sims. We always play a lot of Sims, but like, a lot of Sims, <laughs> you know? Animal Crossing is one of my most favorite games of literally all time, though. This 
level sucks. Okay, after this, we're finally gonna start getting some iron, though. On level 40, which will be good. Because I want to start getting, um... I would like to start getting stuff ready, like iron bars ready, so that I can make some very nice sprinklers. Life will be good once we have sprinklers. Cool. What level are we on? Oh, you can't see. Oh my god. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot the cat cam was there. Um, go away. We're on 38. I'm not looking at my OBS, so I don't know the cat cam is there. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Always forget these levels exist? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go away, go away, go away. If I was a pro, I'd probably be able to tell. Yeah, that's true hope. Maybe if you were a Stardew pro, you would just know what level we were on. Yeah, these levels are the worst because they're dark. Um, they're unpleasant. The other ones are like harder, but these ones are the worst. So once we get through these, life will be better, promise. Promise. Um, I'm hoping that maybe up here I'll get some. Also, if you kill the, there we go. I was gonna say, if you kill the mobs, they can drop um, ladders. I learned that when I was learning to speedrun um, for that tournament. <laughs> it was like a multiplayer tournament, so you kind of have like different strategies, right? Um, and so like some people would like run and check for um, ladders and stuff lower down. Some of them would just kill. It was interesting. They'll get light again on 40. So after this one, it's done. With the misery, don't worry. We're almost there. It'll be better again soon. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna get icy at 40. But sometimes the ladders are just open, so it's good to go down there and check a little bit. Okay. Kayla, the clock? What? It's the afternoon. <laughs> it's, it's two in the afternoon. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. The icy levels are good because we get iron from these, so life is good. All right, I'm gonna try and get all of the iron that I can. Go away! I think that I'm gonna focus less on getting down fast on these ice levels and focus more on iron for now. Oh, Marissa, I haven't- I forgot. I, I meant to get, like, the big list of mods um, that we put in mods after I got off stream last week, but I didn't have time because I had to record. So I was gonna do it before I streamed again, I just haven't yet, so. Um, I'll grab them when I get off stream today. We had some ideas of, like, things that would be fun. Like, um, <clears throat> the one that changes their outfits seasonally and stuff. Shoes! Give me my shoes! Is my inventory full? Is it like stuck up there? My shoes! <gasps> Shoe thief! I can't get it! What am I supposed to do about that? Can you just not? <laughs> That's not fair. Well, I'm devastated. What are we to do now? Can you reach it with your sword? I don't know. Can you craft a magnet ring? Um, no. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, your old tools, Fruity, like your, um, old, uh, what's it called? It's like swords and stuff. You can sell them in the Adventurer's Guild to get rid of them. You can bring them in there to sell them. You have trash hat ultimate item? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I got it like really early on, like on like day three in game or something. It was wild. Okay. Didn't know that until year five and you had a chest full of weapons. Yeah, I mean, how would you know though, right? Like there's no way to know. Unless you go in there and try, but like, 
Um, okay. Being Macy, Eliza Queen. Thank you for those subs, everybody. I really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Die. Yeah, you can't repurchase some of the weapons, but uh, not everybody cares about, like, collecting the bad stuff, you know? But some people just want to get rid of them, and you can't sell them like normal, so... Um... Also, like, super early game, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's kind of useful to get, like, um, the extra hundred gold or whatever you get from selling the cheapest sword, you know? <laughs> like, sometimes you need the little bits of money. <laughs> sometimes it actually does make a difference. <laughs> so. You play with a spreadsheet? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, a lot of people play this game very strategically like that. I, I'm like a, a notebook kind of girly, like draw out how I want to lay out my farm, you know, like stuff like that. <laughs> Did I finally finish the rec center? Yeah, we, we finished building it yesterday. Yesterday we finished the rec center build in The Sims and we started um, working on the house that we were working on again. So that was useful. Um, okay. You two have a notebook? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 14 iron, not bad. Not bad. There's a planner for farms in Stardew Valley. Yeah, there's like a Stardew Valley farm planner website and you can like draw out farm plans and stuff. It's kind of cool. Okay. Uh-oh. First little Simsy stream. Hey, welcome in. I'm glad you can make it. Um... Mmm, things are looking bad for us. Down here's a lot harder because the stuff takes more energy to break. Okay. Yeah, the rec centers are super useful in The Sims 4 now. It's so nice having them. You can just do anything there. It's, really, it's interesting to hear people talking about taking notes because you know, you know nothing about the game and it looks pretty chill. Yeah, the game, um... It can be. It also, like, requires some strategizing and stuff, like, especially when it comes to completing the community center in year one, like, you need to, um, strategize, like, with how many crops can you afford? How many sprinklers am I gonna have? Like, um, how many of this do I need to buy? Like, uh, what day am I gonna do this? Like, some people kind of plan stuff out a little bit, um, which definitely comes into play a little bit more later on, especially if you're trying to finish the community center, like, in year one or something. Um, and also, like, you need to learn, like, what the different villagers like as gifts and, um, all that sort of stuff, so. There's a lot more to this game than people think. I think, because it's, like, th this graphic style as well, um, I think that people think that it's, like, very simple. <laughs> Uh, but in fact, it is quite complex. It takes some learning to know what you need and everything. I'm out of food. Almost, not quite, but I need to get to, there we go, 45. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try and get to the next level, but I think I might, maybe I'll just chop all of this because I have a little bit of energy left because I ate a bunch. Okay, let me grab all this, see if I can waste up all my energy, <laughs> just so we have a reason. Yeah, there's uh, Concerned Ape, the guy who made this game, is making a new one called Haunted Chocolatier that I'm really excited about. Obviously, it's going to come out a long time from now, but I'm really excited to play it. Um, that'll be super fun. If you didn't know, one person made this entire game. One person. Okay. Gotta go. <laughs> Starting to feel exhausted. Um, yeah, that's the thing I think also, Morgan, like even when you're first starting, you're like, oh, cute little farm. But then it like keeps going and <laughs> keeps going. And there's like, you finish the community center. Now you've unlocked this entire island. Like there's just, there's so much in this game. It, it um, is so cool. And then also like there's this uh, perfection tracker sort of element. Um, to like 100% the game, where you have to like max friendship with everybody, uh, sell everything. You can see um, here, this is like my shipping bin, what I've sold. Not a lot, because I'm just in like 
you know, the first season. <laughs> um, but you, you got to sell everything and do everything basically to get perfection, which I've played through before. And that's so fun. It's so fun. Um, it's really cool. So. Okay. Oh, I'm talking to chat and getting lost. Uh oh, no, wait, I wanted to go up. Oh my God. What am I doing? Oh no. Oh no. I got confused because the darkness. <laughs> Okay. How am I? I'm good today, thank you for asking. Any beginner tips? Um, honestly, don't be ashamed to use the wiki. <laughs> the wiki is your friend. Need a light ring? Uh, yeah, if I had a glow ring, life would be good. Unfortunately, I do not have one yet. Build a silo? Already building one. Um, oh, you're, that's tips for them. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. Yeah, silo is useful. Um, that's a good tip, because then when you start uh, getting rid of all this grass, like, down there, um, it saves it so that you can use it for your, um, animals. Um, so you- building a silo is a good- good idea. Um, I need that for the museum, but I don't know if I should bother putting it in there now. Maybe I will, I don't know. Go away. I need to build some more chests, too. Um, go to sleep. Yeah, spending all your energy before you go to bed is a good idea too, because then you make the most out of everything. Sometimes in like early game, um, I'll like use all my energy up and then go and try and meet people. Um, and then, uh, just go to bed. So if it's like 6 p.m. or whatever, um, I'll still just go to bed because <laughs> my energy's up and it's better to go to the next day so I can get, um, some fresh ones. Jody wants cauliflower. Okay, I need to save up five for the quality crops bundle of these golden green beans. So I'll work on that. I need one cauliflower for Jody too. Didn't know about the silo, first winter was rough. Yeah, because you can't feed the, um, you can't feed the animals, it sucks. Okay. So, goal today, I think, is gonna be to build my coop, and then, um, I guess maybe do some quests or something, I don't know. Uh, here's a question. I've been putting this off. Uh, Robin's Lost Axe, is that in the same place on- in the expanded mod? Because I know where it is, but it's my first time doing it on the expanded mod, so it's- is it in the same place? I would assume so, but okay, yeah it is, that's good. That's good. Very nice. Thank you. Same place all the time? Good. Um, I didn't know if the mod, like, changed the map at all to the point where it, like, moved it or something. <laughs> The expanded mod adds a ton of stuff, Abby. It adds, like, so many additional parts of the map and, and stuff like that. There's a lot more going on in the expanded mod. Hello, Christine. How's your day been? Um, but you can see, like, if you're familiar with Stardew already, you're gonna be like, oh my god. <laughs> um, it changes a lot. It makes the forest huge. There's a lot more going on in the expanded mod. So, <laughs> there's also new NPCs, like one of them lives here. So, it's familiar but different. Oh yeah, Robin's axe is right there. Not different. <laughs> it's really cool though, it's been interesting playing this and having like, um, all this different stuff. So. <laughs> Cutscene? Cutscene? Uh oh, I scared her. My bad. Oh, Kayla? It's just you? Sorry, I get startled easily. Me too! <laughs> Me too! 
Uh, hey, you're kind of new to farming, so... I want to give you a device as my way of welcoming you to the valley. Follow me to my storage chest? This is part of the expanded mod, by the way. She's a new NPC. Here, it's a sprinkler! Oh my god. You beautiful person. <laughs> a quality sprinkler as well. I have an order ledger in my cosplay room. If you need more, you can purchase sprinklers from me? I didn't know you could do that with her. Oh my god, this is the good one that does the eight tiles. <laughs> oh, that's so useful. Oh my god. Thank you so much. How much do they cost to buy them from her? That's such an advantage. It makes it so much easier. I can't- I can't make them yet. Order ledger in your cosplay room. So it should be down here. Oh, just that. 4,000? Okay. That's a lot of money. Can't afford that yet. Aged blue moon wine. Oh my god. Plus seven luck. Sophia's aged handcrafted wine from Blue Moon Vineyard. It comes in a prestigious basket ornamented with leaves with a shiny bow to wrap it all together. It makes a wonderful gift. 28,000. Interesting. Well. Does the sprinkler still work? Bestie, I don't know. I haven't placed it yet. Um. Do you think she liked that? Probably not. No, but I tried. 4k for five though? No, I think that means she has five. So you can buy five total today. Um. So. It, oh, it is four, five sprinklers? Are you sure? You think it is for five? Oh. Well, that changes things. Um, I thought it meant that she only has five and it's 4K each though. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. I don't want this, sorry. Each like the traveling cart. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same as the traveling cart, like I said, so I, I think it is 4K each, but you can only buy five today. So you can't just come in there and buy like a million at once, basically. There you go, Jody. Just as you requested. Now I get money. Okay, so I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna grab all the stuff for um, building the coop. Oh wait, do I have enough wood to make the coop? I forget how much wood I have, so let me just triple check what how much it is. 300 wood, 100 stone. I think I'm gonna spend all my wood on the beach. Hmm. Chat, I think I need to go back to the- this way. 4k sounds like way too much, rather than being cheaper. Well, like in the mod or what? Cause, um... 4K, I think, is reasonable, considering you can't make them right now. So I think 4K, I can't make them right now, at least yet, so... 4K, to me, seems like a pretty good price. Yeah, Monster, I post all my streams on YouTube. Um... Okay, let me just chop as much as I can down here. Post them on my channel, More Simsy, on YouTube. Yeah, I think I only have like a hundred wood, so... <laughs> I might not be able to make my coop today. <laughs> I would like to, though. I would like to. Um... Yeah, that's true also if you didn't want to level up farming to like be able to unlock them and stuff. I'm gonna chop this whole forest down. Might regret this. Um, no, it's the- it's the good ones. It's these quality sprinklers. The eight tiles ones. Um, so it waters, like, every tile around it. For 4k. Yeah, the non-upgraded tools take ages to do this stuff, don't they? We'll get there. 
We will get there. Yeah, the deluxe ones go for 10k from Krobus, so the 4k for a quality sprinkler seems like a reasonable price. Okay, let's see how much we've got of wood at home. And then we'll see. <laughs> Why so early online? I stream it this time every Wednesday. Um, we're always here on in the morning on Wednesdays. Not quite enough. <laughs> we need 300 wood and 100 stone. Stone. Okay. Well, we'll be able to get there, I think. But yeah, it's sort of like a time zone friendly sort of vibe uh, streaming at this time on Wednesdays, so. Okay. That's true, Marissa, this is better. <laughs> For you, at least. That's true. Okay, 287. Is that a trash bin hat? Yes, indeed it is. Indeed it is. Just saw the snap cam? Oh yeah, she hangs out in here a lot when we're streaming. Um, so we put the cat cam on whenever she's sitting in here. Work from home and it's nice to have on. I'm glad that you think that, that means a lot to me. I'm glad that it's a, a good thing for you. <laughs> Hey, Natalie, FOG, and Galactic, and Cylon, and Max, and Cozy, thank you all for the subs, everybody. Okay. Robin, finally, I can construct my coop. Okay. Yeah, I've played multiplayer on Stardew before. Um, not... I've played it a bunch with um, with Dan before, and I've also done like, oh wait, I went to make, I meant to give this to Robin. I've also done uh, like a Stardew Valley tournament that was multiplayer, like basically speed running, um, which was kind of interesting. So, um, we've done a couple. Yeah, me and Dan played multiplayer a bunch on stream, but also a bunch like off camera just for fun which was kind of fun. My save with Dan was the reason you bought this game. Oh, that's great. I'm actually so glad you said that. Um, that's really sweet. Cause uh, it's really fun playing with people. So I, uh, this game to me though, cause it was single player first. Like this game is a, like I play it alone and I have a great time, but it's also kind of fun to play with people. It's an interesting, different way to play. Um, what the heck? Why did that delete your message, Liz? You didn't do anything wrong. I have literally no idea why it deleted your message, to be honest with you. Absolutely no clue. <laughs> I'm not entirely clear on that one. The bot says, maybe it's because of the emojis you used? The flag emojis? I don't even see them though. I just see like confetti emojis. That's so weird. Um, I don't understand why. The bot deletes like, some weird special character things, because um, we have some settings on to hopefully uh, help with, like, when people put, um, you know, when people do those, like, horrible uh, spam things where it's, like, a wall of text that looks like a picture and stuff. Um, but anyway, it deletes, like, auto-deletes those things, so that's why. Kind of weird, <laughs> but that's why. Okay, I'm gonna go give some gifts to people at the, um... at the thingy, and then also donate those to the museum, I think. But anyway, people put some weird stuff, so. We try to be uh, careful of it. <laughs> As I'm sure you know. Anyway, so like we try, I don't try to like turn off emojis, but like I turned off the like whatever the bot setting is um, to like help prevent that. I have that on and sometimes it deletes things that it shouldn't, but I don't know. I'm of the opinion and I think you'll probably agree with me that like obviously it's annoying when it deletes messages that it shouldn't, but at the end of the day, it's not like, oh, I didn't give Pam a birthday gift yesterday. Dang it. Um, but like in my opinion, I, I think it's probably better for it to catch more 
then catch less. Because, like, the worst that happens if it deletes something or, like, holds it with auto mod is that it just holds it with auto mod, you know? Um, so, like, obviously we know you're not in trouble, so it isn't, like, a huge deal. Um, and that way, like, bad stuff don't get doesn't get through. So that's kind of my thought process on it. It's annoying and it sucks when it happens, but... Um, I don't know. I literally brought a parsnip because I was going to give it to Pam today. <laughs> like, I, I brought one for her specifically. Um, okay, we're getting somewhere. And unfortunately, um, I'm going to give it to her today and I won't get the bonus from the birthday. Okay, there we go. That's good. Liz, I saw it. I saw the full message. Just because it got deleted doesn't mean I didn't see it. I can see it just crossed out, basically. So I saw what you were talking about. Don't worry. Okay. Let's go. You see Taylor Swift in two days? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You'll have to come back and give us updates, Melanie. This is serious business, okay? Serious business. Um, I'm really excited for you. That's so cool. You will for sure? Good. Oh, bread. I'm gonna need that when I go to the mines again. Thank you. Okay. Get to see her next week. Oh my god! My concert is in April. <gasps> Everybody's here! Oh my god. I'm gonna be honest. I'm looking up what Sophie likes. Sophia, maybe. <laughs> Not Sophie. Um. What are her... Her gifts are difficult. Fairy dust, chocolate cake, pink cake, rice pudding, super meal, cloth, poppy. Oh my god, you're gonna be so annoying to gift. She loves fairy rose, fairy stone. Poppy fish, oh my god. Check if Gus is selling Grampleton orange chicken. Yeah, I can see that, but I don't- I think that it doesn't sell it until I'm level- like a higher level heart with her. Mixed berry pie. Okay, so I don't have anything she wants. But that's okay. <laughs> Fire! Thank you for the 16 months and probably with the tier 2, 34 months. Thank you so much. Um, let me see. I'm gonna give some of these gifts to people. Pam gets a parsnip. I can't afford to, um... I can't afford to buy them gifts like I normally would. Uh oh, you didn't like that. You gave her daffodils? Yeah, I gave her a daffodil today too. Um, oh, Sam's there. Maybe I could give him like a... Oh, what do you think? Oh. Okay. <laughs> You're stupid. That's all I have to say about that. He doesn't like that either. I was gonna buy Joja Cola for Sam. <laughs> He's easy. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, that's loud. Everybody's in here right now. It's kind of exciting. Anyway, early game, I don't really care to um, try really hard to give them gifts right now, but if I've got stuff that they might not hate, I'll Give it to them, you know? Olivia's expensive to gift, gold bars and Sophia's wine. Oh my god. Okay, that's gonna- we'll have to work on that more once we're further in the game then. <laughs> yeah, the Stardew Valley Expanded mod comes with some new characters. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a few of the new ones in here right now. This person, this person, that person over there by the um, games. You saw Rick Astley and the New Kids on the Block in concert last summer? Me too! <laughs> I actually met Rick Astley in person. I got to go backstage at that concert and meet Rick Astley in person. I'm not kidding. Greatest day of my life. <laughs> Greatest day of my life. Uh, that is a trash can lid on my head. Yes, thank you for asking. I look good, don't I? <laughs> Sometimes when I watch the streams, I forget Simsy is a real person in a real room and neighborhood until I hear background sounds. I guess it is easy to forget that, like, the people you're watching on the internet actually exist. I can see that. 
Um, I am, in fact, sitting in a real room right now. <laughs> Wait, there's a real outside. Okay. I think tomorrow I want to go to the mines. So. Okay. Fortune teller. I don't know why I'm checking this. I'm going to bed. I'm silly. Do you have to restart your game to get the new characters? Like, in a new save? Um, they say that you can, like add the expanded mod into an existing save, but they recommend that you start in a new save with it. And if I were you, I would probably start in a new save with it too. Just to experience everything. Um, they're somewhat annoying. I haven't had a single good luck day in like actually ages. Okay, I kind of was silly with where I put that because as it turns out, um, my potatoes are ready to harvest. <laughs> Um, okay, that's great. Maybe I'll try and buy a couple extra seeds so I can have this actually, like, be worthwhile. I don't know. And it's Shane's birthday. Should I buy him some beer today? Listen, is that wrong of me? Probably, but maybe I will. Do you know what I'll do? Actually, the spirits are bad today. How about this? What if we upgrade, um my pickaxe or something and we just like don't worry about it and we spend today around the farm instead of going to the mines and we'll go to the mines this weekend instead on sunday maybe i should upgrade my watering can what do you know i can't upgrade the watering can now what am i saying maybe when the seasons change i don't know yeah, I think we should upgrade our pickaxe. I like that idea. I think that's probably for the best. Um, can't really go wrong with that, so... Um... Oh, I should start making these. I don't have enough wood, though. We can try and get more wood today, too. That'll be good. See? See? Upgrade a winter for the watering can. Do you know, Lauren, some people, um upgrade their watering can like when the seasons are changing over um i don't really care to upgrade it right now to be honest because i'm probably gonna try and have um i don't know we'll see though we'll see i want to have some sprinklers it's gonna take us so much time and effort to get sprinklers though yikes okay um well for now I think I'll just... They upgrade it, like, basically, Lauren, because it takes two days. So, like, you know, at the end of the season, um, like, if you can't grow new stuff, um, like, plant new stuff or whatever, uh, and you, like, upgrade it as the season is changing over, so that way, like, you have it when the season starts again. Um, that's how some people do it. Also, like, obviously in the winter, because when you upgrade it, you have to lose it for a little bit um, while he's upgrading it. So some people do it like that, but... Um, yes, yeah, so like the end of the season basically as it's changing over so that way like you're ready for the beginning of the season and you have an upgrade to it <laughs> um, All right, I'm gonna leave my food in this chest then Because I won't need it All right, let's go buy some seeds. I'll probably buy like I don't know some Or use rain totem. I guess that's true, but um, you have to be able to make one of those, which when we're talking early game. Um, yeah, or like if you know it's going to rain the next day, but you've watered your crops for the day, that's also a useful time to do it if you know it's going to rain and stuff. Um, okay. Eight frost jellies. Okay, it is Shane's birthday today. Um... Yeah, I usually farm till the very last day too, Lauren, but you gotta be kind of strategic about the timing of it, you know? Um, okay, this will take six days, so... Maybe that's the best bet? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'll just go plant those then. And then, oh, I'm out of money. <laughs> Oops. Um, I'll plant these and then I'll sell something to Pierre or something and then I'll get my upgrade. 
Oopsies. I'm silly. I'm silly. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, I know that I have a couple fertilizers too, so... Well, that's good. What can I sell to get a little bit of bonus money urgently? Maybe I can sell some of these. Will I regret that? Eh, it'll be fine. Maybe I'll sell some of these too. Okay, let's go. Shall we? Um. <laughs> Lily, it's because I'm streaming at a different time and it's uh, also Stardew Valley and not The Sims. Uh, just so you know, for the record, I don't really care. Um, Cause like, I, I know what I'm doing, I'm comfortable with myself and stuff, but just so you know, if you ever go to a different stream chat, it's probably best to not comment on, like, the speed of chat or, like, how your viewers are low, because people get, like, really offended by that. Um, that's, like, a really rude thing to say on Twitch to people. Like, they'll probably ban you for it, so I won't ban you, I don't really care, but just so you know, like, it, um, it's, like, considered really mean on stream to say stuff like that, so, um... Okay. Thank you. Have I been informed there's a new Peppa Pig game on Switch? Yeah, I've heard. And I'm trying not to think about it. To be honest. So. <laughs> this is probably a mistake. I don't know. I want to open these geos though because I'm here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Have I played Terraria? Yeah, I played that game a little bit a couple years ago. A couple years ago. No, literally probably in 2018, so more than a couple years ago. I don't know. It was okay. I played it because my friend wanted to play. So. Yay. Can we play? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay, can you actually- hold on. Uh, shop. I wanna sell that and that. There we go. Wait, I only have four copper bars. I need five copper bars! What is wrong with me? How did I come here with only four? Wait. C requires five copper bars. I have to go back. I knew I needed five. Why do I only have four? What is wrong with me? Okay. So, I left one cooking. I have some of my chests, though, is the thing. Annoying. Honey, <laughs> Sarah, Corinne, Bex, thank you for the subs. Thank you so much. Oh, God. Okay, well, hopefully it won't be too bad to get. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Try as a bit of a learning curve. Maybe it does. I only played it once. I don't even remember that much about it, to be honest. Because I, I literally only played it the one time. So, I'm not um, super familiar with it. <laughs> I couldn't really answer that many questions about it, to be honest. Um, okay, back we go. You left my cat? She is being really cute, isn't she? That's my best friend right there. Okay, so I'm gonna upgrade my pickaxe. And then, um, I guess... Oh, maybe we could fish tomorrow or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Back we go. Upgrade tools. Copper pickaxe. Okay, life will be good now. That'll be a serious improvement for us, I think. Stardew's so pleasant to look at. It is cute, isn't it? I really like it. All right, so we'll come down here. I think I want to see if there's any, um... Well, it looks like the answer is no. <laughs> I was gonna see if there was any, like, 
collectibles. Um, but no. No, no. Unfortunately not. I'll be able to sell a couple of these for some money though, so that'll probably help us, because we're running a bit low. I love you playing Planet Zoo. We talked a lot yesterday about maybe wanting to play Planet Zoo again. So maybe, there's a lot of games that I want to play, and there's not enough days in the week it feels like. <laughs> um, but I've talked a lot about wanting to play Planet Zoo again on streams, maybe we will. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'll just sell them in the box then. <laughs> I guess I'll just sell them in the box. Oh, what is it, lady? What is coming in the update? Tell us, tell us. I'm not super uh, up to date with it these days, so. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. Okay. I'm intrigued. Yeah, we should play Planet Zoo again. Maybe when the update comes, we'll do it. Is it 75% off right now as well? Oh, no way. Okay. Chat, I already have it, but if you don't, now's a good time to get it then. Um, uh, Emily, Seb is 14. She turns 15 in June. Okay, back this way. Let me drop some of this off. Keep turning that into stuff. You enjoy Planet Zoo, so you bought all the DLC and you haven't played it since. Oh no, Kath. <laughs> oh no. That is no good. I have some of the DLC for Planet Zoo. I've probably bought like four packs or something and they've, I think they've sent me a code for a couple of them. Not all of them, but a couple of them, so. I have a little bit of Planet Zoo DLC. Not most of the recent stuff though. Um. What does Planet Zoo? It's like a zoo builder. It's a really, really detailed build mode as well. It's so cool. Um, and you can like create these habitats for different animals and then try and craft a zoo that people can come to. I used to play it um, when it came out, like when it first came out, but I haven't played it in a while. It's pretty good. If you like City Skylines, would you like Planet Zoo? Yeah, it's similar in like the management aspect um, and like the designy aspect, but obviously it's a different kind of designy because it's, you know, not a city. <laughs> but um, it has a really cool build mode and it has that same like management vibe. So what's the path below me? Oh, that goes like right to, um, do you know, this is like a, a modded map for the Stardew Valley Expanded mod, but this goes down to like the playground area right above where the traveling cart shows up. You can kind of see it. So they're like sort of implying that the map like goes right up to the edge. My farm goes right up to the edge of that, which is cool. Okay, let me just chop a bunch of these trees while I'm at it. I need more wood, I used all my wood. <laughs> I used so much wood. Would you say Planet Zoo is easier than City Skylines? I find that game a little overwhelming when playing. Do you know, they're, um, they're both difficult in different ways, almost. Like, Planet Zoo, I find the build mode to be more overwhelming than City Skylines. Like, I would argue that it's maybe easier to make a nicer looking city than a nicer looking zoo. Um, but, um, I felt less stupid when I was playing City Skylines or when I was playing Planet Zoo than City Skylines, because City Skylines, I kind of struggle with like the, um, I don't know, traffic aspect, and it makes me feel like I'm not smart, but I didn't feel that way about Planet Zoo. Does that make sense? I don't know. So they're different for, they're like different aspects of them are more difficult, so. Planet Zoo makes you feel stupid? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, I can see that. Any sort of like management game kind of has that um, to it, you know? Um, but I like Planet Zoo. I thought it was fun. Put the food away. Planet Zoo is so hard. Yeah, it is kind of hard. And I'm not that, um, good at the build mode. I just need some more practice, I guess. But... Planet Zoo shows you items from DLC you don't own. <gasps> Ew. Oh, that is annoying. You watched Shella play Planet Zoo the whole time last night after I raided her? It is fun! It's so cool to watch! Um, it's definitely a, a cool game. 
So, played a game called The Tenants and it made you feel dumb. Oh, really? People have told me so many good things about that game. Um, and that I would like it. Do you think that I would I would feel stupid when I played it? Uh-oh. Yeah, Shella is really good at Planet Zoo. Um, did I just start a new game? Yeah, I played, um, I, well, I've played this twice now on stream. This is, like, the second time we've streamed, uh, this save of Stardew, so. Yeah, I, I think that James played the Tenants a lot, right? There's a little learning curve. Okay, well, every game kind of has a bit of a learning curve, right? So that's, that's okay. Um, tutorial is super text heavy. Ah, okay. Maybe I would, maybe I would do that off stream then. So I wouldn't get overwhelmed. And then if we streamed it, we could play it like after that part. Controls are weird to you. Oh, really? I'd have to watch somebody play it a little bit more than maybe that would give me a better idea of what to expect. You played 40 hours of it and reinvigorated your love for the Sims. Oh, that's good. That's really good to know, actually. Um, okay. Now what? <laughs> I don't have any of my stuff. Um, I haven't played that. No, Christine. Do you think I would like that one? Didn't like playing Planets, but you like watching other people play it? That makes sense. I think with a lot of creative games like that, sometimes it's like more fun to watch other people do it than do it yourself. It's like how some people like to watch, you know, people like Kate Emerald who does those like absolutely unbelievable builds in The Sims. Like, it's just fun to watch. Even if you don't enjoy building in The Sims yourself, like it's so cool to watch people like Kate who are so good at it, you know? Um, so that makes sense, I think, that it's like more fun to watch people play Planet Zoo because they're better at it than us. <laughs> okay, I want to chop all this area of my farm, I think. Oh, I can't get that yet. Annoying. This will kind of clear it up so that I'll be able to plant stuff. We could probably also start working a little bit on like figuring out um, how we want to lay out the like farm section once we get our sprinklers and like for next season. Because next season I'm actually going to do like a prettier layout. Right now the layout's ugly. Next season we're actually going to do better. So. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, Amy, and Sue, and Sis, and Honey, thank you, Sarah, as well with the subs. Um, okay. Okay. Really, Poet? I, I mean, hey, if it works, you know, then it works, right? Grab all of this. That's good. We got a lot more wood now, so feeling better. I'm out of energy though. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 244 wood. Yeah, that's way better. Maybe I'll grab this field snack. Chop a little bit more. Um, don't understand why you clutter the house with stuff you can't use, but that's just me. Do you know what? That's just a difference in play style, I think, Stardew, because a lot of the people that, like, build their Sims houses with that amount of clutter of, like, like you say, stuff that you can't use, like, fake stuff, um, it, I think that more just comes from, like, a, uh, like, using the Sims to build, like, an art form, almost. Like, you're, like, using it as, like, a creative outlet, so you're trying to put stuff that even if your Sim can't functionally use it, it still looks really cool. Um, whereas you might play The Sims from a more, like, logical, realistic standpoint, where it's like, I only want to put things that my Sims actually need and can use. Um, I feel like I kind of fall somewhere in the middle there on that. Um, because I, I can see where you're coming from. But I think the people that do that, like, there's some people that build only for, like, the aesthetic purpose, they think it's kind of cool how it looks. There's people like me who maybe do a little bit of both, you know. I also think it's kind of cool how it makes the house feel a little bit more homey inside. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of cute. And, and also, like, sort of in the sense of, of, like, oh, well, you know, up until last week we didn't have changing tables in The Sims, but I'm trying to make a nursery, and we don't have any nursery furniture, so <laughs> I'm, like, pretending. <laughs> and I'm building a fake nursery uh, and a fake um, changing table using, you know, like a dresser and one of those ottomans. Like, it almost comes from, like, a I wish that we had the ability to do this, but we don't, so I'm gonna pretend. 
The Sims in general is kind of just play and pretend. So a lot of us that do builds like that are just play and pretend. Um, so, all just depends how you want to do it, you know? Okay, I'm gonna clear out a bunch of this. So you see, like, I'm getting hay right now. Um, that's because I have a silo, so when I'm chopping this grass, it's adding this grass to the silo. Um, and storing it for my animals. So they can, in, this is good because in like the good seasons, they can be loose and like eat the grass themselves. Um, but then in the winter time, they can't go outside. So you wanna make sure you have hay so that you can feed them. And you don't wanna buy it because it's expensive. So. It's kind of nice to have um, some of it stored up. I'm just gonna chop a little bit so I can let it grow, but have some. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I'm putting my chickens up here. So. Yeah, and then Marty's never at the counter to sell it to you, exactly. So annoying. Hi, Maggie. How are you? Oh, I can go to, um, I forgot. We can go to the traveling cart today. 174, there you go. We could probably stop there. Nice and full. Did it show fiber? Yeah, you can uh, pick up fibers. Yeah, you can, um, eventually there's like a sewing machine and you can uh, turn cloth into um, like different outfits and stuff. It's pretty interesting. Oh, I don't know why it came down this way. I could have gone straight from my house. Do you know what? There's a lot of grass out here too. If I... Can I turn this into hay? Oh my god, I can. <gasps> oh, that's so useful. I don't think we're gonna struggle with that. Ugh. Nothing good for us today. Nothing good for us today. Erica Polaroid, Elena, thank you for the subs. Elena, maybe, sorry. I don't know why I said that. <sighs> Grass doesn't die in Stardew Valley Expanded. Oh, like in the winter time it doesn't? Is that what you mean? Really? Oh, starting to feel exhausted. Doesn't die, but it doesn't grow either. Oh. Oh, that's actually so useful though. Huh. Well, that's good to know, to be honest. Oh, wait. Was it today that did I forget to give- I think yesterday was Shane's birthday and I didn't give him the gift that I was going to. That wasn't very smart of me. Yeah, his birthday's the 20th. I was gonna go to the bar and give him a gift and I forgot. Oh well. I didn't need to buy him anything horrible, that would be bad. I'm just gonna go to bed. <laughs> we can worry about gifts for them later. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Yay, money! Okay. We could probably upgrade another tool then. Maybe today. Oh, and it's raining! Yay! Okay, the spirits are somewhat annoyed today. That's annoying. We're on day 22 of, of spring today in game and in real life. Oh my god, you're right. Okay. No, I need the good ones. I need gold of these so bad. Okay, that's one. Ugh, I need one more gold green bean. One more gold green bean. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh-oh. Did I just hit that with my axe by accident? Seems easy. Maybe I could... Honestly? I just started the day. Doesn't matter. <laughs> we can do it again. <laughs> we can do it again. It's fine. By accident, yeah, seriously. Oops. Okay, take two. <laughs> I don't know why I checked my fortune as if I didn't know. Oops. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. You married Shane your first time playing? I think a lot of us, um, 
married Shane the first time. I think my sister married Shane the first time she played. No, Shanna married Alex the first time she played. Um, so that makes sense, to be honest. Okay, I'm probably going to bring these to... This is kind of annoying. Maybe I'll go fish today. How about that? Let's fish today while it's raining. Um, and then I'll deal with, like, selling that and buying some more seeds and stuff later. I married Harvey my first time playing. And then I married uh, Haley after that. Those were my first picks. Um, but a lot of people marry Shane. I think Shane's popular. So. Okay. I'm gonna go down to the beach and fish. That will be the plan. I don't know if there's any- I forget what fish I'm missing for the community center, to be honest. Um. So I don't know if I should fish. Maybe I could fish in the river and see how that goes. Just until the store opens. Yeah? Maybe? <laughs> oh, speaking of Shane. There he is. Oh, you can't see him. He's behind Snap. Well, Shane is behind Snap. Take my word for it, okay? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, God. Hold on. Can't read chat. Can't read chat. No! Silly Simsy. We'll get it next time. Don't worry. Took me by surprise is all. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Again, with the bad fish. I'll get it, though. Don't worry. Oh! <gasps> My game froze. Oh no. Thought I was gonna crash, that scared me. I can't look at chat, I'm sorry. I have to do this. <laughs> I always feel weird fishing on stream because of that. I'm like, I can't, it's weird because I can't like look at chat like I normally do. Like when I'm playing The Sims, I can look away so easily. Catfish, that's for the community center. That's good. <laughs> Do you think- I don't know if I would call myself a legend when it comes to fishing, but I definitely, um, am not bad at it, so. That's good, I guess. <laughs> hey, Laura and Fiona, thank you both for the subs. Um, oh, really, Mr. Preston, Mr. Preston, thank you for coming by. Welcome in. Still rocking the trash hat, I see? Uh, yeah. I, um, I'm getting so many compliments, I would never take it off. <laughs> Everybody says so many nice things about my trash hat. Uh, I would never remove it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly, Hope, catching the legendary fish is a nightmare. Um, that's one of what I would consider- I don't know why I just clicked that. That's one of what I would consider my bigger achievements, too. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe I'll get- honestly, how about some parsnips? That could be nice. And then I'll go pick up my, uh... Pickaxe. Do you know what I just realized? I want to upgrade my axe and I didn't bring any um, copper, so. I'll do that first. But yeah, catching legendary fish is a nightmare. I did like a perfection run, so I tried to catch all- why did I go in there? So I tried to catch um, all of them and I did, but it was a nightmare. Oh, I was gonna sell my produce at Piers. You're right. I forgot I was gonna do that. <laughs> um, Chrome Subs, honestly, my my goal with this playthrough is more just to explore the expanded mod and like try and befriend the um the new characters and stuff. Cause I haven't seen it yet. So I'm kind of just vibing. I'm I'm done with my uh speedrun era for now. Right now I just wanna see. <laughs> Uh, this is just my, I'm gonna try mods for the first time, run. Um, okay. Let's see. 
We shall go this way. You need to catch all the fish, lady. So you actually do need all of the legendary fish to perfect the game. What was I gonna do? Oh, my pickaxe. Thank you. Thank you. Upgrade tools. Copper axe. Thank you. All right. Um, shall we go straight to the mines then? Maybe? Um, I don't know. I think so. I've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory, but I can just put it in the chest of the mines. I want to get further down. Oh, I didn't bring a lot of food though. Oops. I'm not prepared for this today. <laughs> I'm not ready. All right, up we go. You caught the legendary fish and all the other ones, but you cannot get the pepper fish. Really? Plant my seeds in the rain. I will when I get home from the mines tonight, R. Don't worry. I will when I get home. Also, hi, Dad. <laughs> Hello. Up we go. Oh my god, it takes so long to get to the mines in this version of the game. It's a nightmare. Okay. Let me put a lot of this stuff away for now. I'll keep a lot of the like food that I have on me because that's gonna be useful. All right. Let's give this new pickaxe a run, shall we? Life will be better now. <laughs> It'll be a little bit more helpful at least. Okay. Not that much better, but a little bit better. <laughs> you haven't seen my dad in chat before? Oh, well, hey, welcome in. Just to catch you up to speed, when my dad comes into chat, everybody says, sup, in response. And then everybody who's new is like, oh my god, what is going on? Why is the entire chat saying sup? Um, and I, I never acknowledge it out loud. Because I don't really feel like I need to, but that's what <laughs> that's what happens when my dad comes in chat. So if that ever happens and you're like, what the heck is going on? That's my dad. So this time he didn't say sup, he said snap. Um so <laughs> they said hi to him. Uh or he said hi to her, at least, and then everybody in chat said hi back. So, ooh, we're getting some good stuff today. That's an improvement. Very nice. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Uh, day, I usually get off stream like about an hour from now on Wednesdays. So that's probably the plan for today still too, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how we're going. We need to get to at least level 50 today, but I would hope to get further than that, but we'll see. We will see. So in the mines in Stardew, for those of you that maybe haven't seen it before, you see that like little number in the top left corner, how it says 46? That's what level in the mines you're at. Um, at every five levels, there's a ladder that saves, or there's an elevator that saves your progress. So when I go in here, I want to get through at least the five levels. Um, so it saves my progress as I'm trying to get down further in the mines. And the further down I get, the better stuff gets. We'll start getting gold and stuff. Ooh, already a ladder, that's good. I think I'm gonna try and get like, oh, another one. I'm gonna try and get all this iron though. The mines feel stressful? Ah, uh, they're not too bad. There's um like some harder mines eventually that you unlock called the Skull Caverns. Those ones are very stressful for a lot of people. If I'm being honest, I think they're kind of fun. <laughs> um. But they're very stressful for a lot of people. You need to like bring a bunch of bombs and good food and stuff, otherwise you're doomed. Like actually doomed. So. Oh my god, things are bad right now. Okay. <laughs> Hope I don't die in the mines. <laughs> but yeah, you have to be uh, very prepared for the, for the skull caverns, basically. Um. All right. Just grab that and go. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, yay, level's open already. All right. Um, no, 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 don't touch me. <gasps> Cave carrot. I even got one of those yet today. I just want to look and see if there's any more iron, but I guess I should just go down. Never watched Stardew stream, but hi, hey, Mitzi, welcome in. I hope you enjoy it. Stardew's one of my favorite games of all time. Go away. Go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there is a mod uh, that makes an elevator in the Skull Cavern, which is super helpful for maybe those of you that aren't that familiar with the Skull Cavern and struggling. I've never used it. Um, but, uh... That can be useful for people. Oh, I got a bomb. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Go away, 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 go away. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Level 50. Okay. I got new boots. Yay. Plus two defense. Shall I go? Let's go. My kid had three loose teeth. Is that normal? By the way, I mean Sims. <laughs> Do you know what? People say the wildest things in chat. And, and sometimes, like, there's not clarification that it's Sims. Or, like, I read it at first and I can't tell that it's Sims. And I'm like, oh my god. Oh, never mind. It's fine. <laughs> That's not a bad message. It's just a funny one. But um, people will say the wildest things. Um... Okay. So like horrible stuff too that like sounds really alarming. Like, oh my god, my my dad drowned. And it's like, oh no. Oh, you mean the Sims. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but like you see it in chat and you're like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> but it's the Sims, it's the Sims. <laughs> but it really is like scary when you first see it. <sighs> oh. Anyway. Love that. Uh, this game is terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> or like, oh yeah, you know, um, my sister just froze to death. Oh, oh, you mean in The Sims 4. Okay. <laughs> Why am I wearing a plate on my head? Oh, it's actually a trash can lid? Um, thank you for asking. <laughs> oh no. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. This is a nightmare chat. We got this, it's fine. Die, 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 die. Okay. See if you can get him cornered. So that you're not being attacked. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Die, 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 die. Okay. This is not good. This level is going to take so long. What ring is that? No, give it to me. Don't you dare. <gasps> no. Oh my God. That's the second time that has happened to me today where it puts like a thing, like a prize for me up there and I can't get it. <sighs> Does anyone have a solution to that? Is there a solution to that? I'm going to die. What do you do? A magnet ring, I guess? Oh yeah, it sure would be nice if I had that magnet ring, huh? <laughs> yeah, it would be great if I had that magnet ring so I could get it, right? Yeah, that would be super useful. <laughs> oh yeah, it would, be, it would be so cool if we had a magnet ring. <laughs> Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> no, we can't craft any good rings yet. Um, well, I can make a sturdy ring to cut the status of negative effects in half, but... Um, anyway, that's actually evil. It's taunting me. Oh my god, I'm not gonna finish this level. I'm gonna have to go home. I'm gonna die! Ah! Forget it! Forget it! I don't want to-
want to be here. I'm good. I'm actually choosing to go home right now. Um, I also think I might leave a couple useful things in here, like... Maybe I'll leave a couple of those fish in there. You know, I can leave the boots in there too. Um, the bomb could be left in there. But that'll be good for when we come back, we don't need to worry about bringing it ourselves. Oh my god. I'm very stressed out right now. <laughs> Isaac, Arden, Annie, thank you for the subs. Ugh. It was too late at night for that monster level to happen to us. We needed more time. At 2 a.m. you pass out, so... We can't risk it. All right, back we go. Sometimes you just say no to the levels. Hey, I killed some slimes. Um, things are going well. Hey, Gluon, with the 36 months. Oh my God. <laughs> How are you doing? What's going on? Chat, by the way, if you don't follow my friend, Dr. Gluon, you are sincerely missing out and you should follow him right now. So anyway, <laughs> Melancholy Sage, thanks for the subs too. What are we playing? I'm playing uh, one of my favorite games of literally all time. It's called Stardew Valley. Um, I'm also using this new mod called the Stardew Valley Expanded mod today. Um, so we've kind of been having fun uh, experimenting with the mod. Oh, it's not a new mod. It's a new mod to me. <laughs> to me, the mod is new. The mod itself is not actually new. Um, but uh, I will donate those to the museum. Do I need that for the museum? Yeah, I need that for the museum too. Okay, I wanna sell, I wanna sell, I wanna sell, I wanna sell, go away. All right, bedtime. Any mod is new to Kayla because Kayla hasn't played with mods until two weeks ago. <laughs> bedtime, 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 okay. All is well. New crafting recipe, glowstone ring. Finally. <laughs> Finally! Ugh. Okay. Thank you. How to make. Solar essence iron bar. Ugh! <laughs> I can't make it yet. That's fine. Oh, the spirits are in good humor today. All right, well, we would have better luck in the mines today then. Perhaps we'll, we shall go for it then. 500 gold. Tomorrow is the flower dance. Oh no. No one will dance with me. That's okay. I'm fine actually. I'll be okay. Oh, <laughs> we don't have enough hearts with anyone. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. It's okay, it's really hard to get enough hearts. You need like four. So it's hard to do that in time for the flower dance. Um. Yeah, I know, Marissa, uh, if you guys weren't here for this, back when the 1.5 update came out and we were playing with, like, the island and stuff for the first time, oh my god, everybody would come into chat and be like, oh my god, what mod is this? And I would be like, you're in luck, it's not a mod, it's the new base game update. <laughs> it's free, it's out, you can download it. <laughs> but literally every time we would play Stardew, people would be like, wait, what mod is this? And then I got to be like, it's not. <laughs> it's actually not a mod. Um, okay, let me grab a bunch of this stuff. I left my sword at the mines on purpose. Um, so that'll be fine. We can go water your beans. Oh, I didn't water the ones down there, did I? Oops. You're so right. You're so right. Okay. Go away. Back to the mines. Uh, Daniela, I've been live for like two hours today. Oh, I need to buy some chickens. <laughs> okay, well I can't do it today anyway, it's a Tuesday. That's a problem for a future Simsy. It is a trash can lid on my head, thank you for asking. Hi, Anna! Oh my god, 44 months? That's a lot. Welcome. How has your day been? Your Sims game's lagging? Uh-oh. 
My game crashed last night. I was about to get off stream anyway, but my game crashed. <laughs> I was trying to put a TV in my Sims living room and then all of a sudden, my Sims no longer had a living room. Because the game crashed. So. That was lovely. It was okay, I had saved like literally two minutes before, so it could have been worse, but I was still mad. <laughs> so. You know, we just got a lot of food. And the luck is good. So. Here we go. I need to get my sword. I'll probably leave that for now. How about that? Next. What year are we in? This is only year one of this save. Um, so we're not that far along yet. Keep getting the item removed glitch. Do I have that? Yeah, I've been having that in Claw. It's really weird. The glitch where it says like items removed because you don't have a pack or whatever, but that's not true. I've had the same bug. I've had it for a while. Um, but I think it maybe it's been happening to a lot of you guys more frequently since the update. I don't know. But I've been having that for ages. So, I even had that, um, in, like, the CFE version of the game where I only had the base game in the new pack. And, like, was making fresh saves that had never used any packs, so it's really bizarre. I don't know why it does that. Every time you go back to your Sims house, you get it. Yeah, it, it does. It's really weird. I don't understand why. Um, but I've been having the glitch for a while. I don't know. This level sucks. <laughs> I thought I was going to have good luck today. Look at this. This is not good luck. This is bad luck. Well, there we go. What's the glitch? Oh, it says like when you load back into your sim slot- Oh, <gasps> ghost! When you load back into your sim slot, it says like item removed because you don't have it or something. Except you're playing in a save, like you, you didn't disable packs or anything. So you there's no items removed. But the glitch is telling you there has been. Um, it's pretty common, I fear. Just so you know, on these levels in Stardew, by the way, these like long ones, um, there is always an open, uh, ladder at the end of them. I'm intentionally trying to kill this stupid ghost because I want the solar Ooh. essence. But, um, you can just run straight to the end and then there'll be an open ladder. So, kind of useful, to be honest. I will get my glow ring, just you wait. I haven't killed any ghosts until today, but today is my day. This level's a nightmare. <laughs> it was a mod causing the issue? Um, you know, that's interesting because I, like, I had it happening to me in the CFE version of the game where there's- <gasps> Redemption! My magnet ring. I had it happening in the, like, early access version of the game where there's no mods because mods don't even work on it, so. Um, I don't- think it's a mod issue. I think it's just an update bug. Um. Oh, look at Snap! She's being so cute! Okay, I need- I have three. I need five. And five iron bars. So it would be nicer if I could find a glow ring, but... You know. Just a thought. I'm not even gonna get that piece of iron. I can't be bothered. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, actually, just go be honest. Okay, well, we're on 55. We're doing quite well, if you ask me. We're on 56. Very nice. <gasps> Another ghost! This is exactly what I wanted. I want ghosts today so I can get that glow ring! Okay. I have to kill it and then I can get my- the ladders open, so. I like these little guys, too. Very useful. Oh my god, the ghosts are so annoying to kill. <laughs> there we go. 
<laughs> okay. What breed is Snap? Do you know what? People ask me that question literally all the time. And I never understand it because it, that's like a, to me, that's like a dog question. Obviously there are cat breeds and stuff, but to me, that is a dog question. <laughs> I feel like, um, Snap is technically what they call a domestic short hair and she's tabby, obviously, but, um, that question is like so silly to me because I like also Snap and look, look, I don't mean it in a bad way, but Snap has got to be the most cat looking kind of cat. Like, she is- she is the cattiest of cats. <laughs> you know? <laughs> she is a standard issue cat, I think. <laughs> Default cat, you know? <laughs> um, you Google cat and it shows a picture of Snap. Yeah, literally. <laughs> no, she's a- she's a very cat-like cat. So... <laughs> <laughs> Unmodded standard issue cat. <laughs> anyway, people ask that question all the time. It always uh, kind of throws me. Um, all right, next level. This way. Base game cat. <laughs> oh my goodness. You got a default cat too? Nice. <laughs> um, I'd, I'd say that I have- I also have two other cats. They're um, my parents' cats, but they're my cats too. <laughs> uh, my parents' cats, uh, they have a tuxedo cat, and they also have- he's like black, he's got little white paws and stuff. Um, and they also have- he's- he's not an orange cat, he's more of a, a blonde cat. Um, He's what I believe the technical term is buff, but I think that sounds silly. <laughs> um, I just tried to go in that like it was a ladder. What is wrong with me? Um, but he's, he's like a strawberry blonde, you know? Um, his name is Lemon, so. Diluted ginger, there you go. He's like a diluted orange cat. <laughs> um, but those are the cats that my family has, so. Buff is in muscle? No, Buff is in blonde. <laughs> he is big though. He's a strong cat. He's a large cat. But that's like the color. I was gonna say colorway, is that what you're- can you say that about cats? But yes, Buff is in strong. <laughs> oh no. Not this kind of level. Never skips leg day. Oh my god. Go. Go away. Ah! I'm gonna die because of you. Imagine dying to one of those things. Um, what's the strat? Should I just like go around this and hope that there's like an open, um, maybe kill mobs in case they drop me something, like drop me a ladder? Yeah. Um... Ah. Oh no. Oh no. It takes so long to get over one- get through these levels. It's a nightmare. Oh no! Go away! Oh, I'm gonna die to that ghost. Your cat is gray and she's the sassiest cat you ever met. Really? I love cats. <laughs> I'm such a cat person. I can sit here and listen to you guys talk about your cats all day. I'm not exaggerating. Um, yeah, Snap is 14. Yeah. Ooh. That's my first ever gold. That's pretty good. Thank you, ghost. That's actually quite useful to me. Um, okay. Oh my god, this level sucks. <laughs> 
Yesterday, your husband mentioned getting a cat someday. Um, Christine, that's your in. I think it's time. Interesting, interesting. What would you name the cat if you got a cat, Christine? Do you have any ideas? I asked this question as if I have any idea what I would name another cat that I got. I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to meet the cat to see the vibes. But um I always like talking about it. So <laughs> Zebra 90 school. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Oh no. Oh, do you know what somebody said to me the other day? You know, speaking of Twitch chat and, and how they just say things. Um, somebody in my chat was like, out of nowhere, I think they were a kid. Okay, so that maybe gives them like a little bit of a pass. But I wasn't even talking about Snap. She wasn't in here. She wasn't on cat cam. So like, it wasn't brought up. They brought it up. They go, OMG, poor Snap. She's on death's door. She's 14. <gasps> you did not <laughs> just say that to me. Who says something like that? What is wrong with you? Anyway, it was wild. <laughs> I can't believe they said that. <laughs> Crystal dagger, okay. The internet is just amazing though, isn't it? Um, okay, I'll probably just get rid of the slime. <laughs> what are you doing saying something like that? What a thing to say. And you, I didn't even bring it up. It's like, it, not that it would be okay if I had brought it up, but if I was like, you know, oh, my cat is 14. And they were like, oh, she's old. <laughs> she's gonna die. But like, I didn't even bring it up. <laughs> 14 isn't that old. It's just a horrible thing to say to somebody. How could you? A kid using the phrase death store? I don't know, that's what they said. I assume they were a kid though, because most adults wouldn't say that. The vibes of the message was wild. She just face palmed at that, did you see that? Anyway. Um, it was just extra weird because it was out of the blue like that. But the internet is amazing. They People just say, like, the darndest things to you. <laughs> yeah, and usually, like, when people say, like, really wild stuff, I, I like, tend to... It's hard because, like, you, you probably shouldn't acknowledge it, you know? Like, you don't really want to address people. I don't know if that person was trolling, though, because it's almost like they were, like, a a fan of Snap and they, you know, I don't know. But like, I, you almost don't want to address stuff. Um, and I'm pretty good at not reacting to like horrible messages that get picked up by Automod. You guys would never know the kind of things that get sent here. But like, I couldn't contain my shock when I saw that message. I was like, what did you just say? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Um, anyway, it was amazing. So, my chest is full, I need to make a new one. I will work on that. Yeah, just in complete shock, huh? Um, speaking of cats, my Sims cat is sleeping there. Sims cat, Stardew cat, I mean. Oops. Oops. Okay, what's the vibes today, fortune teller? The spirits are very displeased. Okay, that's a yikes. That is a yikes. Um, maybe I could make another chest then. We can try and reorganize a little bit. Could probably make two more chests, to be honest. Um, maybe I can make a couple more furnaces too. Um, all the mine stuff. Ooh, we can make a couple tappers. We should start working on that as well. Um, what was I gonna make? No, I made a chest. I didn't mean to make a chest. I wanted this, I need my stone. Oh my God. I'm falling apart. <laughs> I didn't mean to make another chest. Um, a couple of furnaces. There we go. Maybe I could put that extra chest like over here by the chickens then. I don't even have any chickens yet, but. Might be nice to have one by the chickens over here. Okay. Let's start organizing, shall we chat? In here will be all of the mines stuff. Um, 
So usually when I'm doing chests like this, um, I also typically have like a tools chest, kind of kind of like this, like tools and seeds almost. Um, stuff like that. And then I'm kind of unsure if I want to do a mines chest or like a generic mines and materials chest. Like, should I put the wood in there too? And then like mob drops from the mines, I guess. Yeah, we have enough space in there. That's fine. That will do. Um, so I can do, how about this? Let's get like the food stuff to put in the, that's a crop. I might put food items in that chest and then we can do crops in one and then forageables in the other. How about that? Um, maybe I could put the seeds in the crops chest then. Maybe I'll do seeds and fertilizer in the crops chest. Just because we got space for it. Okay. That'll work. That will do. How many casts do you have? Is 54% or 43% of you say zero. Interesting. Interesting. Is that shell from Stardew Expanded? Oh, this one? I think so. Cause I'm gonna be honest. I never seen that thing before. Um, can you change the color of the chest? Yeah, I can. You can try and do like a How about that? <laughs> we can get one more chest that'll have like, um, I don't know. Oh, this chest over here, I put the things that I need for quests in the community center. So like stuff that I need to open, community center stuff like that. Um, okay. This is my first time playing Stardew Valley Expanded. Yeah, Pebbles, I this is my second stream playing with it. Um, but this is like the, a brand new save, obviously. Um, and my first time using it, so. Okay. Ronnie, Greek, Chinchilla, Emoji, and Alan, thank you for the subs, everybody. Okay. Let me just finish watering all of these little guys. And then what should we do today? I don't know. Should I go see if Marnie wants to sell me some chickens? Let's try it. Um, I have a chest for gifts near the exit of the farm. Yeah, that's kind of what I stick in the quests, sort of. Where am I? Oh, it's the festival. Oh my God. I thought this was like some secret forest. It's the flower fest or the flower dance. I totally forgot that was today. I didn't remember what day it was in game. Okay, well, I won't be getting any chickens. It's the flower dance. <laughs> totally forgot about the festival. Oh no. Okay, well, let's see. Do I want to buy anything? Um, I could get a little seasonal plant. We have a little bit of money. Maybe I'll let myself have decorations. You know? My first day as a detective and the lab tech dies and I can't get anything done. Oh my God. <laughs> wait, they died at work in game? Well, way to ruin the vibes of your first day. I mean, geez. That's unfortunate. Oh no. All the criminals are mourning too. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I feel like I can't ask anyone to be my dance partner because they won't dance with me. 
They all hate me. Yeah, I feel like, you know, if somebody dies at work, you should be allowed to go home. That's rough. <laughs> that is an extremely unpleasant, um, day. Could I ask Haley? I don't have enough hearts with her. You need to have four. I only have two hearts with everybody. So, it's okay, I'll just dance alone. Should I take my trash hat off so I fit in better? Maybe. Maybe. Red Hulk and Ronnie and Greek, thank you for the subs. Um. Well. I'm just stood there. I don't get to play. Thought you only needed two? No, it's four. Unfortunately. It's really hard to get the four hearts before the first year's flower dance. Um, the most I have is two hearts with Haley, so. <sighs> I'm so lonely. So sad. That was fun, time to go home, okay. Um, all right, put my hat back on. Maybe I'll just put this here for now because I don't have my extra chest yet. Oh, I can't chop anything. I was gonna say I could chop some wood, but I, I'm upgrading my um, ax, so I can't. <laughs> okay, well maybe I'll go break some rocks or something. Yeah, it's possible to get the four hearts with Haley, um, but you have to do her birthday and stuff. So it's really tough to, um, to get it with people before the, the first dance, especially if you aren't like thinking about it. Um, and I've not been thinking about it, so <laughs> I've not really been trying to get people's hearts up for the most part this time around, at least. I will, but I haven't yet. I've been more focused on just, uh, existing, actually. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, make use of the last couple bits of the day, but there's probably no point. I might just go to bed. But yeah, the characters that have their birthdays before the festival, you can get four hearts with, like Haley, um, and you can give her like easy stuff. Um, so it's kind of easy to get her hearts up before the festival, but you can't do it with everybody. So you can do it with Shane too. Um, just wasn't a priority for me this time. <laughs> okay, my copper axe is ready. The spirits are in good humor today. What do you want? I was checking your shipping bin. Pierre and Sophia had a large number of products to ship this morning. Kayla, I'm very happy you're getting situated here in Stardew Valley and you're making great progress on your farm, okay? I need to walk over to Fairhaven Farm and check if Andy is shipping anything. He usually has high quality forage from Cindersap Forest. Must be convenient to be able to forage in your backyard. I'll leave you to your farm work. Is he trying to tell me that I should go down there to the forest and farm, or and forage? Thought we were finishing the orange house? Ah, oh, Goth, we worked on that a bunch yesterday. We're gonna work on it again a little bit tomorrow, but we were always planning on playing Stardew this morning. Please be a gold bean. 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 I can't even see because my inventory's... Please be one gold bean. Yes, okay. I needed five. I have five. Very good. Very, very good. So I'll be able to get that in the community center for the quality crops bundle. But I think because the spirits are in a good mood today, I might go to the mines and then tomorrow I'll do home stuff like try to get chickens, go to the community center, go to the um, thingy and pick up my axe, you know, stuff like that. Abby, the community center quests aren't different on Expanded, but there's a setting you can tick in-game to uh, make the community center quests different so that you can like have some variation if you want. Um, so I have that setting on right now. That's like a setting that you can choose when you're first making your, your save. Oh, I didn't put this tapper on the tree. I need to make more of them. I'll just leave it there for now. So yeah, I'm, um, I'm remixing it. You only need two set of five for the quality crops. Um, you need three of them. So we have the beans, then we'll get the others. That'll be easy. We'll be easily able to get the other ones, but 
we're off to a good start with this. Um, how much other... I might bring two of the leaks, too. There's a schedule? Like, a my stream schedule? Yeah, I post it in the Discord always. Um, so... Hopefully that helps. <laughs> okay. Let's go. So yeah, if we didn't get the beans, it wouldn't have been the end of the world, because we would have had, like, another opportunity with the other three crops, but it's definitely nice to get it, you know? And have it started, so... How do you check the Discord? Uh, if you're in the server, there's a stream schedule channel. Um, so you can see it at the top of the server. Which is kind of nice. The expanded mod is fan-made, yeah, Ginger. It's not like a, an official mod or anything like that. Um, it's made by people. Mods are pretty much, I would say, always fan-made. <laughs> I don't think it would be a mod if it was like officially made, you know? Um, all right, to the mines. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Okay, we have a decent amount of food. We're doing okay. We're like level 55 right now, I think. Hello? Who are you? She was rude, too. I don't appreciate that. Oh, I'm on level 60. Oh, good. Oh, my. <laughs> Get them all. Oh, my. Yeah, what's her problem? This will be good. I'm running low on copper, so... Be able to get some more. She did tell me to buzz off. Just an NPC from the Adventure Skill, nothing special. Yeah, I figure, but... She was mean. Next. Ghost! I don't remember how many solar essence I got last time, so. I would like to get more. Because I would like to make a glow ring. <laughs> that is my, my ultimate goal right now. Who was rude? Um, some new NPC called Cassandra, who's in the Adventurer's Guild. She told me to buzz off. I was just trying to say hi. So used to watching playbacks on more sims you try to rewind all the time on lives. People say that a lot, that they're so used to like watching things on YouTube specifically, you know, and you're like expecting to be able to like, you know, turn the clock back a little bit if you miss something and you can't. All right, let's go. Oh, good. This area is overrun with monsters. Excellent. Couldn't be any better. Maybe I'll get a glow ring. You never know. Try and type in chat while watching bots. Yeah, I can see that too. Um, you like want to add something and you're like, oh, this is not live. <laughs> this already happened. Go away, go away, go away. Always want to pause? Yeah. I wish that it was easier to do that and then like have it be able to catch back up and stuff. If I left and came back to this level? Oh, well, I would lose my progress. I'd have to go back down the, the other two. It's okay. It's nice to um, do some monster levels because one, one wasn't that bad, but two, um, we get prizes for like working through the Adventurer's Guild and killing a lot of stuff. So once you've killed like whatever, a thousand slimes, you get this cool special prize and stuff. So it's not necessarily a bad thing for us to... Um, work on this a little bit. Don't touch me, slime. Yeah, and the monster levels are predetermined, so it would always be a monster level today, 63 like that, so it wouldn't help if we went out and came back, so. Um. Go away. Oh, good. I'll probably kill these, though, just because I'm here. They drop coal, which is kind of useful. No Sims today? No, friend, we're playing some Stardew Valley today. I play Sims almost literally every day, so... 
Um, occasionally it's fun to play another game from time to time. Okay. Okay. Die! I'm not really in a good position for this, to be honest. Die! Um, anyway, I've played The Sims every day for like the last two weeks straight because of the pack and stuff on stream, so it's fun to be able to, um, you know, play Stardew from time to time or Animal Crossing or whatever. Stuff like that. Will I play The Sims today? Like on stream? Um, no, so I only stream once a day on, on Wednesdays, so we'll play Sims tomorrow. Um, and I'll, obviously I'll post a Sims YouTube video today. But we will not be live again later. I got work to do later, unfortunately, so I can't stream twice. Um, okay. Hopefully we can get to level 70. Oh, good. That one's already open. Ah! All right. I think I've got enough of the solar essence now, too, where I'd be able to make my glow ring, so... I don't have enough of the iron bars. I have enough iron, but I haven't made the bars yet. Um, okay. What mod am I using? This I'm playing with the Stardew Valley Expanded mod. Um, not much change in the mines, so you wouldn't really know right now. But when we get out of the mines, you'll see it's like super different. It's wild. Um, go away. Go away. The ghosts are so annoying to kill. <laughs> so annoying. Okay. Go away. Die now? Oh my god, how many times do I have to hit you? There we go. Jeez. Try to play Stardew to understand what you should do. Oh no, Katie, I think some people find Stardew a little bit overwhelming. I don't think you're alone in that. In the beginning, it can be kind of like, oh my god, <laughs> where do I even begin? Um, but at its core, especially in the beginning, farming is the vibes. Like, you mostly just want to do a lot of farming. So. Level 69! <laughs> okay. Go away. Go away. Nice! Oops, I got hit by it. Stop! Should I go to... I wonder if I can try to get to 75 or not. I probably will try, to be honest. I think it's worth. Eat this. What plans do I have for St. Jude month so far? Do you know what? I think that I'm gonna keep that one to myself a little bit longer. I'd like to have some things be a surprise. I haven't decided what should and should not be a surprise yet. I'm not done planning stuff either, but um, I feel like some things we should let be a fun surprise, you know? Um, but those of you that maybe are new, we raise money for St. Jude for the entire month of May on stream. So it's always a good time. <laughs> um, and we always have some kind of exciting stuff planned, so. Okay. This level is gonna have skeletons. Although I'm not seeing any, so. <laughs> Are we gonna play Minecraft? Yeah, we usually do. There's one, see? Um, we usually do play Minecraft. We usually play some Minecraft crowd control, even. Um, but anyway, it's just a big month-long fundraiser that we do for Play Live, basically. Um, and obviously a lot of exciting things go on when you're fundraising on stream for an entire month straight. Um, and sometimes, like last year, you raise like $300,000 <laughs> for charity, so. Um, it's kind of cool. Go away. 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 Bone fragment. What does farming accomplish in this game? Um, money? <laughs> Progression, I guess, too, because the more you farm, the further along you get. I want to grab this little teardrop thing. Um, oh, Micro, I guess we've had, um, we've had some 
like rough rough goes with crowd control recently with it not working very well. I don't really understand because the first times I was doing it, all was well, like it was great. And then um, last time when I loaded it into the Sims, it straight up just didn't work. It wasn't like the mod not working. It was like the connection to it not working. But it was really weird because it was saying in game, like, crowd control connected, like, I can see the mod. Um, but then nothing was queuing up, like, nothing was happening. Um, so we were having some rough times with crowd control recently. Which is extremely annoying. <laughs> Especially, like, the Sims one was so stressful for me, as I'm sure you can maybe imagine. Because, like, I, um, here I was, like, going live, having planned this whole thing, prepared everything. Practiced it in the morning, it worked in the morning, and then I get live and it doesn't work, and now I'm in front of thousands of people, and the thing's not working. And it's like so hard to troubleshoot when you're like streaming, because, you know, it's, oh, it's just a nightmare, so... Um, it was very stressful <laughs> when that happens, as I'm sure you can imagine. I don't know if I can get down to 80, but I'm gonna try. Die, 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 die. Okay. Oh no. I just gotta stop letting it just hit me. Is this not Minecraft? You know, I'm actually pretty sure it's not. Oh, we won't get to 80. I don't know what I'm doing. I should just go home. Well, I might as well waste some energy, huh? Maybe I'll hit these things. Maybe crowd control has stage fright? Well, and that's the other thing. When we did the crowd control fall, guys, it was working, but then it would like randomly stop working. So... <laughs> I don't really know what... I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, so I don't really understand what was going on there, but... Um, okay. I think I will go home. I'll probably play at least a couple more days. Um, but I don't really know how long I want to keep playing because I'm a little bit anxious about... I don't think I want to like go all the way to the first day of the new season yet. So, because I, I think that I, I need to be more emotionally prepared for that. And I can't stream for too long today, so I, I feel like it's it would be cutting it too close to do that. So maybe we should wait for next time to do that. I don't know. We'll see. I'll play at least another day in game though. Okay, Bruin. <laughs> nice to see you too. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, tomorrow in game, let's see. We have to pick up my axe. Um, we'll have to... Oh, do you know what I'll do tonight also? This is probably a good idea. Maybe I will try and make a bunch of iron bars. That'll be smart. We'll pick up the axe. We'll donate some stuff to the community center. We'll buy some chickens. We'll try and get through some of that. Ooh! Okay, definitely tiller crops worth 10% more. So when you get to level five, you can pick like a profession. I don't really care for animal stuff. Crops are way more useful to me. Nice. Okay, life is good. <laughs> Things are improved. Um, happy Friday in game today. The spirits are very displeased. All right, well, good thing I'm not gonna Oh, my inventory's full. <laughs> okay. Um, put that away. That's all I needed to donate, I think. Let me see if I can load up some of this stuff to put it all away. Topaz in there, bone fragments in there. Okay. Did I pick up the axe yet? Yeah, I did. And we can go to the traveling cart today in game too. Which will be good. I guess, um... I should just not bother with planting anything then. <laughs> it won't make a difference, because the season is ending. 
I'll put that right there for now. Um, let me get some iron again. Keep up with this. I don't think I wanna, here's the thing. I don't think that I wanna bother making any of these sprinklers. I think I'll just wait until I get the next farming level so I can make the better sprinklers. Um, but we'll see how it goes. All right, let me sell all this too. Go away. <gasps> Oh my god. Could you imagine if I stole all my iron by accident? My life just flies before my eyes. Okay. Um, basic sprinklers are super cheap and super useful. Yeah, but I think I might... I think I might wait. I don't know. I guess I don't have enough gold, so maybe I will make them. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, I'm not planning anything right now. I need to start thinking about the new farm layout. That is the goal. Because then we'll be ready for the next season. Which will be fun. I don't really need to do this, I just am. Because I kind of want to start putting like some pathways and stuff down, to be honest. Um, which path should we put? Maybe I'll make... I like the wood ones better though. Maybe I'll make the wood ones. Okay, I have to pick up my... My axe. Um, should we upgrade our hoe? Or is that a bad idea to do right now? Maybe I'll wait till after the new season starts. Or it would be done on day 28 of the season. Is now a good time to upgrade our hoe? I don't have enough copper. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't upgrade it because then I'll have enough copper to make a little, a few more um, sprinklers. So I won't upgrade it. Never mind. No upgrades. I've decided I'd rather save the copper so that I can make sprinklers. I think um, that's a better use of my time. I think. Um, okay, traveling cart first. Um, I don't really... No, not useful to me right now. No, the mod is free. Uh, the mod is free, so... Okay, so I'm gonna get a couple chickens. And then... We'll go back... Purchase animals. Chicken. Oh, lost. The traveling cart is here on, um, what should I call them? The traveling cart is here on Fridays and Sundays. What should I name it? Gumby is great. Or crab. Oh, crab is funny. How about that? Rare seed? I'm not gonna get the rare seed right now, friend. I don't really feel a desire to get it right now. Should I get like all my chickens? Crab? How about crab Bernard? Um, shrimp? Okay. Shrimp? And Kyle. Okay, and Kyle. That'll do. I can work with that. Okay. <laughs> All right, sounds good to me. Interesting group. Um, all right. Back we go. Hold on, I'm gonna take a stand back. Hold on, okay. And then I will feed them and then get my stuff. What does the mod do to the game? It adds a ton of new areas and some new characters. 
So, hello little chickens. I will put food there, but I would prefer if you get, went outside to eat it. Yay, okay. Next. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more of this. Oh, I didn't water the stuff down there. Goodness me, they're small. Yeah, they're just little babies. They'll get bigger. <laughs> they're just little babies right now, though. Um, okay. I will grab all of these things. Mia, I think I'm probably gonna play this day in game, and then I think I might get off stream because um, I have some stuff I need to finish today, so I don't know how long I can be live for. So. Please put Kyle and X on pause stream. Oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> oh. Leah is harvesting. Kayla, hello. It's a lovely day today. I dropped by to check on my green beans and they're ready to harvest. Gus and Pierre were here a little while ago. Interesting. Pelican Town's community garden is pretty nifty. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. It's cute, but my farm can hold 40 times more. No, it's a neat idea. It's spectacular. <laughs> She's not even harvesting them. I'm very thankful for this community garden. I don't have much property to grow my own food. Yeah, because the community garden stole your space. <laughs> but thanks to this little plot of land we all share, I can. No, this area is, um, it's cute. I like it. It's adorable. I wrote this cutscene. I think it's from the, um, from the expanded mod. Woo, that's all of them. Now I need to decide what to cook with these tonight. Oh, she gave me a green bean. What, you ate it? Why did you do? Why did you do that? Why would you do that? What if I wanted to keep it? Marry her, please? I don't want to marry, um, I don't want to marry Leah, because I'd rather marry one of the new NPCs with the mod this time. That was cute. I haven't seen that cutscene yet, obviously. That garden is, like, down here by the museum. Um, as you can see. Which is where we are headed, except first I want to... Oh, I need to donate stuff first, because my inventory is full. Should still have it in my inventory? Oh, I do still have it in my inventory. Oh, good. Okay. You go there, you go there, you go there. We're getting somewhere. I got a painting. Sophia's hard to date, her likes are brutal. Yeah, that's kind of who I want to date. I've discovered that. Um, so, <laughs> wish me luck. <laughs> My axe. You can't harvest them, they're just decorative. Um, it is a cute little feature of the, of the mod, but they are just decorative. There's a lot of like decorative farms around the place now, which is kind of cool, because, like, some of the other villagers have farms, too, in the expanded mod. Okay. Donate to museum. All of that's new. Another reward? I want it. Oh, no. My inventory is so full. Oh, no. She likes pink items? Yeah, I noticed. Um... Okay. Oh, <laughs> I just got a text. <laughs> so Dan was at the dentist this morning and while he was there, um, he scheduled us both um, like our next appointment. So I just got a text that my dental appointment's been scheduled. Ew. Oh, I don't have anything to donate. That's a shame. <laughs> no, I need to go to the dentist. It's good to go to the dentist. However, that is a sad text to receive. That's unpleasant. Okay, I can sell you that. Process geodes. More iron. Clay. Okay. You like the dentist? You are the only person who says that. The first person I've literally ever heard say that. Um, 
In honor of the tooth pack, yeah. <laughs> you have an amazing dentist? Yeah, it's not that I don't like the dentist themselves necessarily. It's just like the act of going to the dentist. The sound of anything against my teeth is absolutely horrifying to me. So it's a miserable experience. But it's not like they suck. They're nice. But the experience is unpleasant. You know? Okay, quality crops bundle. I need you. I think that it's just that and the catfish though. We love the dentist, she's so nice. Actually, you're right, Christine. I, I've i really had such great experiences at the dentist. They've been so nice to me. So um, the dentist, uh, my, my parents have the same dentist as me and they're always like so friendly when I go there and see them. They're like, hey, Kayla, how you been? So. <laughs> That's true though. They actually are very nice to me. They give you a lollipop? Oh, see? The dentist is a great place to be. Okay. Hello. Do I need to be here? Um, I'll sell you this green bean. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. How about that? You're welcome. Going to the dentist next weekend? Oh, have fun, Hope. Oh, Pierre's birthday. There's nothing I can do for Pierre that he will enjoy. The guy is a nightmare. Oh, he likes daffodils. Never mind. Hold on. He won't be dramatic about that. He only has one loved gift though, and it's fried calamari. Drama. How am I doing? Yay. Okay, back home. Really, Minty? That's such a nightmare. They make it so difficult, don't they? I'm sorry. Okay, back home. Yeah, Harvey loves coffee, but I'm not trying to spend money on them because I'm trying to save money for the beginning of the season. So I've got enough, like I want a lot of gold to buy uh, seeds when the season starts. So I'm trying to not spend too much just yet. I'd like to hold off till the beginning. Because then we can afford all the seeds that we need when it eventually does begin. That's cute, right? I don't know. Yeah, Harvey loves pickles too. I married Harvey first. Um, so I am a little bit familiar with his likes and dislikes and stuff, which is good. Um, he was the first person I ever married in this game. Okay, so I've got enough stuff to get my glow ring now. Finally. Life is good, okay. <laughs> um, and then we can put the rest of this back again. I think that I'm gonna make a bunch of iron bars today. That's probably priority number one. Oh, I have no, oh God, that's rough. I had none of that. Um, save some of that extra food in there too. How about that? Fishing is great for money. Oh, we'll be okay with money. Like when we, we have some crops that we sold today and stuff. So we'll, we'll be all right with money. I'm not worried about having enough funds. I just don't want to spend anything. If that makes sense. I prefer to not spend so that we definitely have enough. Um, okay. I'm gonna chop a bunch of this in the forests, I think. Cause we'll have some more wood so I can make some more paths. <laughs> um, wood for paths is good. And then after that, who knows? Who knows? I wanna make some paths and then I wanna start laying out the farm, I think a little bit for the new season, but I'm gonna spend wood. I need to get some more. How long am I streaming for? Um. I might play like either until the end of today or maybe the end of tomorrow in game. I'm not really sure. I won't be able to be live too much longer though. Okay. 
just a little bit more wood. Some light deforestation, yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. All right, that'll be fine probably for now. Uh, so little, it's a, it's on a timer. <laughs> it's on a timer because people do yell a lot when I play The Sims. So it's just a reminder, reminder to be gentle, basically. Um, not necessarily a thing that we need in Stardew, but it's just on a timer. I don't like turn it off per game. I just, it's just on the timer. So, um, but yeah, it's more like for, for people yelling at me in the back seating when I'm playing The Sims. <laughs> It's like, hey, please be gentle. You don't need to be mean. Because <laughs> um, people are kind of mean when I play the Sims. <laughs> okay. How about that? I think I'm going to do... Oh. Grab those. I think I'm going to put this like this, maybe. Um, okay, so I can't like do this all the way yet, obviously. But um, I think I'm gonna have there be like little sections for the crops, kind of like this. I think I want it to be a little bit in front of this so we have a bit more space. This is kind of what I was envisioning. So we can have like a few crop sections. And then we can do the sprinklers in the middle. And we'll start laying all of this out and it's gonna be so cute and we'll have so many crops and it's all totally and completely fine. Okay, so there'll be a sprinkler there. And then, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Are they mean or are they excited? Okay, so Cheeto, obviously not everyone is mean, but people are mean to me. <laughs> I wouldn't have a command begging people to be more gentle with how they're speaking to me if there weren't people being mean to me. Obviously that's not like every person in chat is so awful, but there are there are people that are mean to me when I stream The Sims, so. Um, we're just asking people to be gentle, that's all. Um, but anyway, I wouldn't have that for no reason, would I? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, so that'll go up, you know, but obviously it'll be like when the season's over, so those things won't be there. Okay, let me save this in my little seeds chest, probably. That will be good. Um, perhaps I can chop some of these. Um, oh, good, SG. I'm glad that you could have it, you know, be celebrated. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, I love having a glow ring. Life is so much better when you have a glow ring. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna make some of these. The game put it there? Oh, really? Oh, wow. Well, that's lovely. To be honest, I kind of like it. The game's got the right idea. Okay. Um, let's see. Best ring is slime ring? Yeah, but that's a long ways away. <laughs> um, I've been suffering with no glow ring. Everything's been so dark, so um, life is good. This is my first night in game with a glow ring. I, I'm feeling very relieved right now and very excited about this. <laughs> okay. Um, so we can't really get like... The sprinklers that we're going to make are, honest, not that good, but, um, we can try. I'll put one, how about right here for now, for the next day. But this will water, like, one, two, three, four. So it waters, um, a couple spots for you. So it'll help us if we can get a few more of these. <laughs> it'll be a benefit. Um, okay, running low on copper. Gonna have to do some more getting of copper. Okay, so you'll water that, so you'll water that. Okay, there we go. 
that'll be good for the next season. We'll be ready with that one. Make another field snack. Put all that away, put all that away, put all that away. Okay. I feel good about that. Should we play another day? It's so hard to stop myself. I think I want to. <laughs> I think I want to. I won't play the last day of the season though, because I need to be ready for next time with that one. Okay. Day 27. 4,000 golds is good. The spirits are in good humor today. Oh, we could go to the mines. Try and get a little bit further. That might be useful. Oh, I didn't even need to water that one. That's one of the only ones that is being watered. <laughs> so you can see it waters a couple of them for me. Um, so it'll help. I don't have these crops in the best layout for sprinklers because I planted them before I had sprinklers, so. It'll do for now though. It will do for now. Oops, all right. What food do we want to bring? All of that probably. Maybe leave a couple of those things in the chest. I think that'll be good for us for now. Yes? Okay, let's just go for it. <laughs> Nikki, Juliet, Jinx, thank you for the subs. <gasps> Chickens! Where's the other one? Maybe it's inside still? No? Um, they're so small I can't see the fourth chicken. Oh, there it is. They'll get bigger when they grow. <laughs> um, they just haven't yet. <laughs> they only got them yesterday in game, so they're not quite there yet. They're not quite, um, you know, adult chicken size. That'll be good though, we'll start getting some eggs. Um, no, there's a leak right there. Can I even get it? Yeah, okay. It was like behind my face, I know you couldn't see. Alright, hopefully we can get a little bit further in the mines though. And then we'll end stream. Promise. And then tomorrow we'll play Sims. Promise. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it takes so much longer to get to the mines on the expanded mod. <laughs> it's so much farther away. Okay. I love Stardew Valley. It puts me in such a good mood when I play this game. It really is like so much fun. <laughs> I know a lot of you probably agree. I just think it's such nice vibes. And it's been kind of fun to play with the mod for the first time too. Leave that in there for now. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get to 80. We're gonna start getting into some gold, which is exciting. Am I streaming tomorrow too? Yeah, I'll be live tomorrow. We're gonna play Sims tomorrow. Um, the only day that I don't stream is Sundays. So I'll be here. In the settings, I can change to the original location. Oh, really? Oh, I don't think I care that much. I'm okay with it being where it is. I'm just complaining. I think while I'm here, I'm just gonna grab the iron though. Cause I do need more of it. And I want this too. Gems. Can someone explain Stardew Valley? Uh, it's like a farming simulator at its core. Um, so you, you know, you do things like farm and mine and fish and befriend the villagers and stuff like that. There's kind of a quest line to complete the community center. And then after you do that, you unlock this cool island. So there's a lot of uh, gameplay going on, but at its core, it's farming game. So. Okay. These levels are boring. <laughs> There's like nothing interesting happening in here. Refuse to be the two because you're stubborn. I agree. That's how I feel. Um, I'm also stubborn. Oh, yay. Right now we are uh, in the mines trying to uh, get further down because the further down you get in the mines, the uh, more stuff you unlock essentially um, that you can get. So I'm trying to 
get down to the bottom so we can start getting some gold. Because I would really, really like to have um, some good sprinklers. So, I'm trying to get down far. And we're getting there. Okay. Mobile ads are so glitchy. Oh no, is it being weird with ads? Did I do an office tour of my new office? Uh, I made a video where I built it in The Sims and I showed some like pictures and stuff. So yeah, kinda. But like a, a Sims kinda office tour. So it fits with the vibes of my channel, <laughs> you know? Um, all right, I'll just go down. Here we go. You thought it was boring before? Well, not anymore. Life is scary now. <laughs> Let me eat some of these things. All right, here we go. It's heating up, as some might say. <laughs> All right, this will help us, we'll be okay. Let's get this over. Have I played wildflowers? Oh, I don't need that daffodil though. Maybe I'll go put some stuff in the chest so I've got more inventory space, just in case. Um. Okay, let's go. Gold! Yay! Anyway, it's, the vibes are different down here, as you'll see. It's a little bit uh, scarier. The trash can lid hat is so cool, you want one? I know, I felt so lucky and so powerful when I found it. <laughs> I was so excited. Um, it's really cute, I think. I haven't played Wildflowers, no, but I keep hearing so many good things about it. Um, it sounds like the kind of game that I would really like. Should I try and kill that thing? Maybe not, I don't know. Yes, and I got my Void Essence. Oh, and I got a Ruby. See, that was worth it. Get back, get back. Okay. Oh, the ladder's open down there. No! Oh no. I was trying to get it so I could run away. That's true, Christine really wants me to play Wildflowers. <laughs> okay. It's free on the App Store? Oh really? Interesting. That's good to know though. So that you can play a little before you buy. I want that gold. Oh, uh, please don't get me slime. Please don't get me slime. Thank you. Okay, Marissa, brag about your hat, sure, but you still don't have a trash can hat, so... No matter what, I still win. I don't think I'm 100% a cat person, Sunny. I, I grew up in a house with, ooh, 26 to 42 damage. Yeti tooth? Oh. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, actually. I will take it. That's pretty good. I gladly accept a better sword. Um, okay, go away! Okay. I ever got a living hat, though? No. Anyway, I grew up in a household uh, with three dogs and and um, two cats. So I don't know if I would say I'm a dog person or a cat person. Obviously I adore my cat, but I also like dogs. So. What does the purple diamond next to a name in Twitch chat mean? Oh, that's like the bit badge, I think is what you're seeing. Um, that's people who have given bits. I'm a pet person. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Animals in general. Okay, we'll definitely get to 85, so that's good. I don't know if we'll get to 90, though. We'll see. We shall see. The trash hat is a sign of royalty? Oh, wow. That's one way of describing it. <laughs> Okay. Die, 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 die. 
It's smart to kill mobs sometimes on these levels if you're running out of energy also because the mobs have a good chance of dropping um, ladders. Not in that case, but... <laughs> Copper bar? Oh, good. Um, that's useful. Okay. I want to get to level 90. So bad. Mostly a dog person, but you love cats too. Oh, but you're allergic to them. That sucks. I would be so devastated if I was allergic to cats. <laughs> that would be so hard for me. I'm so sorry. Die. Die. Do I like the fighting part of the mine? Um, well, I'm not really one for like combat in games. Like, it isn't my favorite part of the mine, you know? Um, but I do think that I, I don't dislike it. So, is it really home? Oh my goodness. Do you have any celebrations um, anytime soon planned? Very exciting. Okay, well, even if we don't get to level 90, at least we're getting a diamond. <laughs> oh, gave her extra treats when you last saw her. Good. Good. As she should get. Am I asking if I can be put on FaceTime with her? You should, Hope! You are so valid. I would also want to. Okay. My worst fear is having a kid and having them be allergic to cats. Oh my god, that would be a nightmare. I can't even think about that. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Me thinking Emma was a person. Oh, Emma, in fact, is a horse. Um, not a person, but understandably confusing. Anyway, Kira, Bella, backwards, thank you for the subs. <laughs> okay. Can someone tell me the schedule for the morning streams? I'm usually live at- oh, snap! My cat left. I'm usually live at 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern time on Wednesdays. Is the morning stream schedule? Do you want to come sit with me? Come here, jump up. You can sit with me. You can help in the mines. Yeah? Okay. We have a cat. <laughs> there is her tail. There is the proof. <laughs> okay, two more levels. We got this. Dan's brother and dad are allergic to cats. Um, not like terribly bad to the point where it was a nightmare, like with them staying here, but um, they are allergic to cats, which kind of stinks. Luckily Dan's not, cause, well, we'd have to get rid of him. There is a diamond on the left, I saw it, don't worry. I'm gonna go back up around there. I'm gonna kind of break these things down here and see what happens. We shall see. How many gold do I have? 25, that's good. That's actually really good. A snap was my childhood cat. Yeah, I've had snap, uh, my family's had snap since I was nine. So, um, that's my bestie right there. Go away, don't, oh my God, I'm facing the wrong way. Thank you. I would like this diamond. I would also like to not die to a slime, so. Go away. Thank you. Oh my goodness. You're making me really want to play Stardew? Yeah, you, um, you would probably, uh, you should, so. Isn't Snap hypoallergenic? Um, I don't know anything about that. I do think that Snap has a little bit of long hair cat in her. Um, like my mom feels a little allergic to Snap and not to my parents' other cats. So, I don't know. There's something, something with her that is a little... <gasps> Mushroom! Ugh, my inventory's full. No sap, that's useless to me. Um, okay. Ah! Okay. 
What breed is that? I assume she's a tabby. She is. She's just a domestic short hair, but I don't think that she, I mean, I don't really know what she is exactly. I've never done like a test on her or anything, but I, I think that her hair is a little bit longer. Like I think that she might have like some long hair cat in her somehow. Um, I don't know. Okay, um, I'm gonna actually go back up to the chest and drop some things in here really quickly. Um, like maybe some extra food, because then I can get this. Obsidian edge! Oh my god. So much better. Okay, we got two better swords today. <laughs> okay, we'll go back home then. Um... You've heard algaes come from their saliva? I think that's true, but I don't know. I think there's something, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not like an expert. Oh my God, it's so much better having this glow ring. Oh, we can actually like see where we're going, getting home. But I think some of it comes from their skin as well or something. I don't really know how it works. I'm not allergic to cats, so thankfully. Um, cat dander, yeah, there you go. I don't know. I don't know. Dander's a major cat allergen. That's what I thought too. That's also what I was thinking, but um, I'm not uh, an expert on the subject, unfortunately. Um, typically they're dander and bunnies are the same. Oh, interesting. Your brother's allergic to cats and bunnies because their dander is similar. Interesting. I think I've heard that before. Um, Okay, speaking of cats, mine is laying across my arm, so I can't move it off the keyboard. That's okay though, I'm still gaming. Luckily, I just need these keys that I'm on. Okay, Gunther wants that. Um, that'll be good, I have a mushroom now. Mushrooms are a little forageable. We got a lot of stuff today. Diamonds and everything. Very nice, okay. I'll go to bed then, and then I think I'll probably get off stream now. Um, this has been really fun today. I hope that you all um, also had fun. <gasps> oh. Which one do I want? Mine or a geologist? I feel like I... <sighs> I don't know. I almost want to like switch things up, but... Maybe I'll go for minor. I don't know. Cause I feel like I always pick geologist, but at this current moment in my life, I'm trying to get more um, gold and stuff so that I can make more. I think miner's better. I'm going for it. I need more sprinklers. <laughs> so, okay. Well, on that note, I think I'll go find someone to raid. Um, next time we play, it'll be the next season finally. I think I'm gonna get the mods um, later today too, like the seasonal outfits mods and stuff, so that'll be kind of fun. Um, where should we go? How about we go over and say hello to- oh, you know what? Um, my friend Soros is live. Um, speaking of cats, Soros has a cat, um, this source has two cams on, one cat cam and also her cam, and there's a cat in that cam too. All right, well there you go, double cat cam at my friend Soros's stream. Yeah, um, there's cats everywhere. <laughs> uh, we'll go say hello. I think that they're playing um, with the growing together stuff, which is kind of fun. So we'll go over and say hi. Have a great rest of your night, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow to play some Sims. Um, e and Ty, thank you for the subs, both of you, and I'll see y'all later, okay? Okay, good night, everybody, goodbye!